Hey, what's going on, Rob? Hey, man, you caught Yeah, me. I forgot to put in my headphones. I can't hear you. Hold on. There. Oh, oh yeah, man. Hey, I, you're, you're so good at all the social media stuff, and I, I just need to finish my uh, Insta promo real quick, and then oh, I'll, yeah, yeah. And then just, just give me one yeah. second. Yeah, sure. We'll start. just keep okay. the show. We'll keep the show Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Shh. All right, all right. All right. Hey, hey, everybody. It's Rob Hubel, your best friend. I'm getting ready to go live with that fucking sack of crap, Paul Shear. Everybody so, hates man. him, and uh, mm -hmm. everybody loves me. You know me. What? I'm your boy. Come on, hang out with me, Adam Brody, and uh, oh, Addy. No. What's, what's Addy? How do you say Addy's last name? Wyrich. Hurry, hurry, hurry. Addy Wyrich, and uh, we're going to go live. We're going to have a blast, I and we're going to have a blast, and everybody say, fuck Shear, and uh, go Phoenix Suns. Woo what? Okay. No, don't. No. Wow. What's that? Oh, I, just, wow. I, I heard, I heard, all, I heard yeah. all of that. I heard all of that. I got 600,000 likes. <laughs> that quick? Yeah. Social media, man. You got to get on there, Paul. I don't, do I don't you, go how, that how way. Do you, I don't go do that way. Use, how do you use social media? How do you use it? To talk about my love science. <laughs> like I get on there to ask people. I will tell you this. Uh, you know, people are like, oh, social media has devolved. It's become whatever, you know? And, yeah. uh, and I will say when I occasionally will ask a serious question or something that is not a bit, it's just an impossible place. It, you, it's impossible. You can't. You can't. Yeah. You can't. Well, especially like, you, you know, I don't think any comedy person can like at all, you know, like well, it, I'll it, give you an example. And it is hard. It's hard. You. It's hard to go. Cause I've tried to do that. To, like try to go back and forth and like, Oh, I think I'll post something political and people are like, no, fuck you, you sack of crap, you know? By the way, I like sack of crap. I, well, I mean, I'll tell you my story, which was uh, this weekend. I was in a restaurant, and someone was choking, and I and I tweeted like, "Wait, now, can... now as your friend, I already don't know if this is a joke." Uh, well, just hear me out. I, I, like okay, this guy's okay. choking, and I and I and I tweet, uh, "Can anyone, you know, teach me how to do CPR?" And I get all these responses back, like, "Oh, put your finger up his butt," and uh. and I did that because I thought. <laughs> It was supposed to, I, I didn't know, you know, and then, and Wait, this guy, so died. you, so this guy died just, I mean, I, I was trying to have an, uh, an honest dialogue on social yeah. media. Someone said, Oh, the best way to do CPR is you, you kiss him on the mouth and you put your finger in the butt to create like a, a suction that's, thing. That's a, that's if a dog is attacking you. If a dog attacks you, you're supposed to put your finger in his butt, uh, and kiss him because then he. Because then his his mouth is then occupied by your you know you're F kissing him and he's he's thinking about no, kissing and then the butt thing he's like well I'll see what this leads to I don't know where this is going wait so you're saying to sexually turn on a dog during a dog attack I don't think it's sexual I think it's just biological I think it's well just when you like, say kissing I'm assuming that's a sexual thing oh kissing yeah yeah no like friendly kissing like you know that's not a thing. like European that's have you ever been to Europe. I have actually been to Europe. I've been Ooh, to all the countries favorite, in Europe. What's your favorite part? Well, I, I like to start off in the Canada Pavilion, and then I walk around the circle. I go to Japan, and uh, you know, sometimes oh, I'll take the Italy. You talking, or, about, uh, you're talking about like Epcot Center? What are yeah, you talking about? that's Epcot. not Europe, man. That's uh, that's like Epcot. Yeah, but they employ people from all the places. You get it. You get it when you go. You get it. <sighs> oh, wait, I just want to. You know, my mom said that one time. <laughs> <laughs> really I, I did say like I did like, my mom I go don't you want to travel to Europe she's like we go to Epcot every year oh I gotta I gotta make that's I mean you know I love your mom that is a yeah. very American answer I will say that oh, is yeah. probably there are probably millions of of Americans that think that way um I uh I want to put together a slideshow maybe I'll just do it next week um of your mom's comments on my Instagram. Like oh, you're like your mom is on my Instagram and it's so funny. Cause I, I always just post like, you know, I don't yeah. know who's reading it or care. And you then post every now and then funny stuff you have, I a bit, you know, you I try to mix it up a little bit, but um, one of the best IGs in the game, Rob, don't, don't, <laughs> don't sell yourself short, but, but your mom will, um, you know, like she's always sort of bringing me back down to earth. You know, like if I'm trying to run with some bit and do something, she'll be like, Rob, that's not how people talk, you know, or oh, you know. she does it to me too. <laughs> like, like I posted something. She's like, ew, gross. Mm -hmm. Or she'll, or she'll play like the role. Like she's like looking cute. Yeah. Like, yeah, like yeah. she's like trying to like 
amp up the comments. Like, you know, yeah. like, yeah, she's it, trying it, to, <laughs> you know trying what I to had get, to do? Get everybody going on Instagram. I mean, you know what I had to do? And I can say it here because I'll never, I will never tell her this, but I have to go on her phone when some, when she's over my house and block certain people. So oh she God. doesn't comment on them. Oh my because, God. It's because I'm like, I just don't want her to see it. Cause I'm like, she's getting too involved. Like she's getting too involved because yeah. my mom has decided her path in Instagram yeah. is motivational um, quotes that she makes up. Oh, so, oh, you're kidding. Yeah. Yeah. Never a picture. I mean, I'll read you a couple of them. Wait, wait, um, wait, wait, wait. So she's yeah. coming up with her own motivational catchphrases. Yeah. Paul. Oh, yeah. I got I, mean, I got to. Oh, I need an I, example of this. I, I'm going to, I, and some are religious. Some are, uh, all right. So this one is, oh, this is going to be, I great. don't understand any of them. I, and by the way, everyone keep this cool. This is just here. This can't be for public. Don't, don't call, yeah. mo don't call Paul's mom. Everybody, everybody's got your mom's number. Yeah. Uh, don't call my mom. Uh, the ordinary acts we practice every day at home are of more importance to the soul than their simplicity might suggest. Whew, you got to do one of your punch up. You got to do some punching up for your mom's. Uh, um, <laughs> for your mom's. Uh, I mean, this is another one. Um, and joy just starts. And joy is the appropriate attitude with which to help others because acts of generosity are a source of blessing to the giver as well as the receiver. Oh, your and mom's, there's an end. Your mom's, your mom's got to shorten this shit way down. There is an end quote, but not a beginning quote. Uh, the other one that she has is. Does she have like uh, funny pictures at least, like a like a limp dick in there, or like a no, cat holding all, onto a rope or something? It's like that? all on pink background with white writing. Okay. Um, I mean, this is this is one that was a little dark, uh -oh. uh, but I'll read it to you. Wait, is um, this about? Okay. All okay. Right. Happy Mother's Day to all those anguished mothers I, who yeah, had yeah. to give up their children or had them taken from their arms. Exclamation point, heart emoji. I mean, you know, the sentiment, the sentiment is nice, but yes. I don't know if you <laughs> want to. <laughs> I don't know how you... I'm not laughing, obviously, at those mothers. I'm laughing no, at those moms. No, of course. It's, it's my yeah. mom's, like, yeah, I mean, like, here's another oh, one. Oh. The truth suffers, but never dies. That's actually I like that great. one. That's I great. mean, I would, yeah. I would be surprised if she came up with that. No offense to your mom, but because that's no, so short yeah. and so tight. I mean, that's what you need. You know, you need, and, like. And then and I'll give you the last one here, uh, which is a great one. Let others window dress their facts with ornaments because you know you have a strong case. Just narrate what happened from start to finish. Ah, let others window dress. My let mind others... wanders. In the middle of these, my mind starts to wander. So that's not a good, <laughs> that's not a good one. My uh my mother-in-law, and I'm not talking trash because I love her to death, and I would I would tell her this. And uh and I love my mom and I would. Of course, make fun of these of to course, her face, but I wouldn't want to. Yeah, 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 yeah. But um, but my mother-in-law has a. They recently moved, and they moved um by a lake, and they live by a lake. So, so my wife's mom has gotten really into like lake um life type. You right. know, so so she went to some store or went on Etsy or something and bought all of these plaques, not plaques, but like right. kind of kind of country looking signs, you know, like okay, around yeah. that you have, you know, like sort of craftsy, folksy little clever sayings about yeah. like relax and kick off your shoes, you know? So that's like one. And then like, but you walk like three feet later and there's like nothing like being on the lake. And then you go in the bathroom and it's like, what I love about the lake is that knowing that sand isn't really dirt or, you know, it's like all, but it, there's yes. like, I'm not yes. exactly like, like 40 of these in the house and it's uh yeah. boat parking only <laughs> like okay well this is this is very similar to something that my dad and his wife have done which is they have remade their basement into a log cabin and so it's decorated as if it's a log cabin so the wallpaper 
wow. is that and then everything up is like a bunch of soap bears in a canoe yeah, yeah, and then yeah, like yeah, you know yeah. support your local parks there's walking sticks <laughs> and, and there's no windows in the basement uh where they where they live there's no windows it, so it's it's just all this wallpaper of ducks and mallards and yeah. like you said like you know five cents for good advice 25 cents <laughs> to get the fuck out of here you know, or whatever that is <laughs> don't tell my wife i've gone fishing <laughs> yeah it's like it's yeah. all like it's like all these things like we're who's selling these like i was sleeping on the couch oh, someone, down there. someone is making fucking millions for pier one or you know whatever you know I, it's, it's home wild. goods or you know my they they both have walking sticks and the yeah. walking sticks have uh, <laughs> a little a little a little rubber thing on the end of it no but they have badges so I was like, oh, so wherever they've done like a big walk, it's uh, like there's a badge for it. And I was like, who yeah. is doing this work? Like, it's like because the, the stick is not very wide. So it's like, yeah, it's like crafted to the stick, like a, like a suitcase. that's traveled the world. It's yeah, uh, yeah, 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 it's really funny. That's hilarious. Um, I haven't seen you in a long time. I, I, I've noticed that you've been uh traveling you've been going to uh I, are, are you a, yes. are you a basketball fan i don't follow i don't understand I, basketball i will say this uh i don't know what has gotten into me i was talking to you uh just a mere few weeks ago saying yeah. i'm nervous to go out i yeah. don't know what to do i feel freaked out and since <laughs> like in the last three weeks i've been on like six airplane rides like it's Jeez. been yeah i've been yeah. like boom 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 going around and i don't know what is, I, i'm a huge clipper fan a basketball fan and and, and uh, basketball was, just to be clear basketball is the one where they throw it and it goes into the uh circle right yeah a hoop is what they call it, a hoop oh hoop. Yeah, yeah, yeah 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 so uh but i started going to these like playoff games and i love the clippers and they're a fun team to watch and you keep uh, saying how much you love the clippers I love the Clippers. I love the Clippers. Yeah, you said that. You said and, that. And uh, you know, I got a Jerry West, uh, Jerry West bobblehead doll. Uh, and uh, you know, me, Billy Crystal, Adam Devine, uh, Little Wayne. We are uh, the fans that support the LA Clippers. Uh, yeah, that, I don't think you pronounce the the T's in Lil Wayne. But, little you know, no, Little you don't do it. No. Wayne. <laughs> Wait, told... now did, were all of you guys on the same flight from LA to Phoenix? No. All right, okay. here's the thing. So, yes, I've been enjoying these games and I've been having so much fun. I'm like, you know what? They're playing the Phoenix Suns. Yeah. Let me go to Phoenix. Like, it's not that bad of a flight. I would love to go hmm. to Phoenix. And it's I like, like up, I, it's like up and down from LA, right? Like, exactly. Uh, so yeah, quick. I went, and there, I, was like, I went there for uh, Clemson played, and then it's no big deal. My 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 college was in the national championship for well, football, and we I went there, and it's not. Well, a big this deal. is what I want to talk to you about. Like, I've never traveled for my team, and you have. Yeah. You have done well, this it's, a bunch of times. It's very risky. I mean, as you yeah. as you found out, it is a huge <laughs> roll of the dice. Oh my God. Well, cause first of all, there's no guarantee that they're going to win. They're also, <laughs> I mean, so that like, so your whole mood and all the money that you've spent and yeah. everything is complete like motherfucker. And by the way, I had the worst part of that. I'll tell you on Tuesday, most people who saw the game probably know, but um, you have that. And then you're like, at least for national football games, you're in like a neutral territory, right? Like, I mean, or yeah, or you the on, championships? Okay. Yeah, you're yeah. It's total neutral ground. They just pick a stadium in the middle of nowhere. Usually, you know, when you go to another place, oh, yeah. I realize I was like, oh right, like, like all I'm gonna say is this: L.A. I love L.A. But we have lazy ass fans. Like, we yeah. don't travel. Like, anytime the Clippers play Phoenix, like, there's a significant amount of phoenix fans in the yeah. stadium like yeah, you know right yeah. and so i went there and i was on island like an island oh man that was like an eyesore the only people that i knew that were going to be there and be clippers fans were yeah. uh these two dudes who are paul george who's like one of their star players manager and best friend and i mm. i tweeted out the clipper fan base i was like i tweeted i was like Hey guys, I need to meet up with these dudes because I think I'm going to be the only Clippers fan in attendance. And then those guys are like, I'll be there. I'm in section 103. Come say hi. And I did, and they were awesome. Uh, but to be the only like literally the only fan, <laughs> like so yeah. much so that when I went to the game last night, which is why I couldn't do the show with you last night. When I went to the game last night, people were coming up to me and going, 
hey dude thank you for traveling to phoenix hey man like i think it yeah. was the it was i was like the the one the one person there that's uh, crazy it's crazy and then and then it didn't it didn't pan out right so you had to fly right, back Rob, they were they were up with 0.7 seconds on the clock not point <laughs> seven, not even a full second and it was an inbound pass that became an alley oop I, I saw your instagram <laughs> I was laughing so hard because it's an impossible. It's impossible. Everything and, needed to go to right to, for them to, and to wrong lose, for us. To lose in like you know a half second is is crazy. It mm. was like it was. Did you and mind you got numbing. You probably got the shit beat out of you, didn't you? I bet everyone was like, "Yeah, fuck you, get him, get him," and then well, they all like, jumped on you. Well, okay, so on Sunday, uh, the Clippers played the Suns, and two dudes went who were for the Clippers fans, and a big thing went online because they got their asses kicked. Like, oh they no, beat I was the joking. Shit. Oh yeah. shit. Oh, so, no, I mean, no. I mean, I don't think that they're horribly injured. It, it like a fist fight in a in a stadium, you know, yeah. that level of injury. So there was this. <laughs> so after that fist fight happened with the Clippers fan, like the whole Suns organization like started launching these videos, like, hey, everybody. We love that we're back at basketball games. But please don't fight our other fans. Like there's like literally <laughs> videos like, welcome back, but please yeah. control yourselves. And so I was a little bit nervous. And as I was leaving the house, June's like, don't wear your jersey. And I could not wear my jersey. But the consolation that I did was I uh, I wore it for uh, I wore it in my seat, but not when I was entering or leaving the stadium. I felt like it was too much of a target. Uh, yeah. to be entering and leaving with the thing on. So I didn't get into a fight. Everyone in Phoenix was lovely. I went to cool bars. I had a nice, uh, uh, great dinner. The fans were exceptional, but it was scary as hell when I felt like I was. it was a personal attack because I was sitting there in this group of, you know, completely packed stadium. And I was like, beat LA, beat LA. And I'm wearing an LA hat and a fucking LA jersey. And I was like, oh, yeah, it just yeah, felt yeah. like you were a target. <laughs> Yeah, I the only thing I can relate to briefly with that, and then uh, oh, Adam Brody's gonna be here soon. Everybody knows Adam Brody. Love Adam. Uh, Brody. Uh, uh, when I went to see Clemson play, uh, I guess the last there have been so many national championships, Paul. Yeah. I lose track of them. Well, um, and Clemson, by the way, Clemson is a great team. And what's exciting about Clemson <laughs> is like they have a history of being great. Yeah, Clippers, Clippers never. Is, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah. Uh, but uh, but the um, the last one I went to was um, they lot they got uh, destroyed by LSU and the game was in New Orleans and I went to New Orleans uh, and with my brother in law and um, Trump came out with Melania and I lost my shit like I was like fuck you bah! like going crazy right. going crazy. And everyone else was like, yay, 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 And like, I thought I was like physically going to be harmed. Yeah. Like I was just like, uh, and you know, nothing happened, uh, uh, because everybody knows I know karate, uh, and I do wear my karate gi and my black belt. I mean, you've seen, you've seen me when I go out, you know, I always wear I will say, I do see it and I, I don't want to tell you this it, it, you on should, air. You know, it's, Paul, a, it's uncomfortable. It's uncomfortable. I'll loan to it to you. Uh, I should don't loan it. it to you because don't you do it. feel safer. It projects confidence. It's also what's called an icebreaker. Do you know what an icebreaker is? Yeah, an, it's a gum. An icebreaker is like, huh? A gum? No. A, a, it's, oh. No. A I mean, it is, like a, a, a mint that is also a gum. I mean, yes, it is. I think there is a brand of that, but uh, yes. an icebreaker is a conversation starter. So if you, if you wear my karate outfit mm -hmm. out in public or to people say, Hey, what's, you know, what's the deal? And then you can make friends easier. Mm, okay. And uh, yeah, thanks. Uh, thank, thank, thank you. Okay. Let me know what size, what yeah. size are you karate? Don't worry about all, you know, I'll karate you. stuff. Okay. I'll text you. Well, let me know because the I'll, belts are, uh, and you can't wear my black belt because yeah, yeah, sure, sure. you you're not you a don't. black belt. So you could wear yeah. a, a different don't color. Like, yeah, yeah, don't worry about it. Yeah. That's cool. I got it. Thank okay. you. I feel like, you don't want my no, no, karate no. uniform. No, no, it's cool. I think it's cool. It's cool. And I, and to be honest, I still wear my kids' karate uniform. Just yeah, so, that's why uh, it's very high. It's like it's it's like a summer pant. 
It's got, it's, like it's, a, not it's, up it's yet. almost like a child's bathrobe. And, um, that's why I have to wear, I now have to wear a bathing suit underneath because people start I'm saying gl- sh- stuff. Well, cause you don't shave your pubes and your pubes are very long, like, uh, like obscenely long. I, Paul, like, Paul, you know. Paul, 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 I told you that in confidence. Okay. I sorry. I didn't mean, I, I thought, sorry, let, for, let, I let's, 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 let's get, let, we should talk to bring Adam. up our guest. Yeah. Let's bring up our yeah, guest. Yeah, this yeah, is, yeah, uh, yeah, do you want to do the intros? Um, Man, I'm not very good at these intros. I mean, Adam Brody, everybody knows, obviously way back from the OC and super funny guy, great actor, kicking ass right now. Uh, I just watched his movie, well, maybe about a month ago called Kid Detective, which which is great. Blew my mind. It's so good. He's also in... He has uh, a Netflix prom- show that's really good right now. Oh, yeah, too. yeah, yeah. Oh, fuck. I haven't seen that. He's going to bust me on that. Um <laughs> Uh, uh, and he's then, basically uh, the best. He's a good, great guy, yeah, funny great guy, great dude, great dude. Great Let's actor. bring him on. Great right, intro. Great intro. Great intro. Yeah. Great intro. Yeah. 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 What's up? Thanks, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, good to see oh. you both. It's been years. Well, yeah, dude. I, I haven't know. seen I've you in so long. You. I know. I know, I dude. Know. I, I'm. I I'm know. spacing. I'm sorry. I haven't seen the. What's the show that she was talking about? That everybody's talking Don't about. Don't be sorry. Don't be sorry. I'm happy you knew. I'm startup. I'm happy you knew about it. That show, if I may, is a real, like, that's kind of the most surprising thing I feel like in my career, just because we shot that five years ago. And uh, well, we shot first season five years ago, and then um, like 2016 to 2018, something like that, 2015, 2018. And and then it was on Crackle, which was kind of a non-existent uh, streamer. And then Netflix just bought it, and now it feels like a hit. (laughs) It's so weird. Crazy. That's so that funny. Was dead it's like, and buried a long time ago. <laughs> that's so crazy. But that's what is going on a lot. Like um, all those shows that were on. Um, oh, uh, what is that? That network that went away for a second. Uh, my God, that uh, t- not Tubby. T- uh, oh, oh man, Quibi. The, the, Quibi. 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 Yeah. All these Quibi shows like Quibi. went to Roku. Oh, are they doing? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah, they're yeah. doing like um, like they've gotten like quadruple the views that they've ever gotten, and like people are like, oh, these are really good. <laughs> Dude, I've seen like a lot of like a lot of people talking about startup where I was like, when the fuck did he make this show? Like I couldn't I literally because now I'm trying to figure out you know where like, I, the people you know shoot where, this. You, Rob, do you know yeah. where do you know where I made it and partially why I was in it? Puerto Rico, like the year after we worked there. So what? I did three years in Puerto Rico. <laughs> oh, my that. God. Yeah, yeah. For oh, those yeah, that don't to... know, Rob and I worked in the jungle in Puerto Rico. <laughs> Um, dude, I forgot so anyways, about and I, that. And I had such a nice experience that I was like, I could do that again. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. I forgot about that, man. Yeah. Me and me and Adam shot this movie with the one and only Jean-Claude Van Damme, uh, in Puerto Rico. I don't know if that movie is on Netflix or it's called, it, it's pretty funny. Yeah. Uh, but it, it's, it, I don't know. I don't, I don't know if it's like, uh, I haven't, I haven't watched it in a million years, but, um, but the but I, I doing, haven't seen it since like yeah doing shit with Jean Claude Van Damme like when someone someone said it's gonna be in Puerto Rico and Jean Claude Van Damme and I was like yes I was like totally I'll totally do it and uh, and that was like quite an adventure and he's actually like funny and yeah he's uh, lovely such an interesting dude like so interesting um, yeah he's I lovely. feel like he's constantly so kind of like very what? surreal yeah he wears a hat dude he wears a hat oh i'm wearing a bigfoot yeah. hat that's cool my daughter gave me this so i'm you know i, I don't make fun of me very cute um, no. yeah, love right. it. but um he wears a hat that says jcvd on it like wears that hat out and yeah. uh but you know but he he's he's such like a such a uh a, a legendary guy and i feel like he just sort of rolls with that confidence you know of like hey you know who i am you know it's yes. it's really interesting i'm always kind of blown away by that level of celebrity where you were like the like the number one person like schwarzenegger stallone and then obviously like when you're an action star you just get your body gets older like you're not going to be the most convincing person unless you're like mm-hmm, liam neeson mm-hmm. but i mean it's, so it is an interesting way to be like i like but i feel like he's transitioned the best in the sense of like he's almost a meta version of himself and he gets it and he's super funny and cool well i've never been honestly and like i've worked with you know the some of the biggest people and as as we all have at this point and uh i've never been a starstruck because no one is ever like 
I was in seventh grade and I just played him. Like my friend and I would go in the backyard and be, do double impact. And I'd be one of the twins and you'd be the other twin. And we, you know, and we'd fight. And like, you know, so it was just any, any, any such a character um, yeah. that, yeah, it was just like the, the whole thing, just looking at him and watching him talk, it just has never, no one has been larger than life to me in that way. He, that uh, I, worked with. he I just remembered this. I haven't thought about this in so long, but he, um, would kind of hold court. We were all staying. It was a, it was a tiny little cheapy movie that we made. Uh, Kristen Shaw's in it. Um, um, Eric. Uh, um, uh, oh, I got to remember Eric's last Eric name. Edelstein, Eric Edelstein. Megan Edelstein. Megan Boone from The Blacklist. Yeah. Megan Boone yeah, from The Blacklist. Yeah, yeah. We were shooting this movie with her, and Megan was like, "I th- this is before The Blacklist. This is right before The Blacklist. And I remember Megan goes like, yeah, I don't know about acting, man. I think I'm going to like, I don't know if I'm really into it. And then like a, a month later, she got The Blacklist and is just yeah. like, wow. But I remember um, JCVD, uh, my wife came down once to visit in in Puerto Rico and stayed for like a few nights. But the first night she got there, uh, JCVD calls me up and he never knew my name. He only knew my character's name, which was Phil. And he's like, my phone rings. I, I don't know who it is. And I pick up and he's like, Phil, Phil, JCVD, JCVD, Phil. Uh, come, uh, come out to the pool, Phil. Come out to the pool. And I was like, oh, uh, I was like, Jean Claude. Uh, actually, my wife is here, and so I, I think I'm gonna like, you know, cuddle <laughs> up with my wife. And he's like, yeah. no, 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 Phil, Phil, come out to the pool. And so I think I like went out to the pool. Like I, I did think I told my wife, I was That's... like, I, I, I have to go. I have to go. The bad. If he calls. You got to go. <laughs> oh, the only you time I... her. You didn't, you didn't <laughs> bring her. <laughs> I think that was a smart move. I did not move. bring my wife. My I think that was a smart wife. move. I didn't want my wife. I don't trust my wife around Jean Claude Van Damme. No, I, would, I would have brought. I would, oh, I would have. No, no, no. He would put the moves on my wife so yeah, fast. Who knows? Who knows? Who I would knows? get like kicked in the face. Oh, I. Oh, this is my. La- this will. This will be my last JCVD story, and then we can talk about other stuff. But um, Adam and I at the end of the movie, Adam and I have this big fight scene where we're like fighting in this big pit. And um, the the, the movie sort of like Lord of the Flies, where it's sort of like the office meets Lord of the Flies. We get stranded on this deserted island and Adam's the good guy and I'm the bad guy. And so so Adam and I are fighting in the sandpit. And at the very end, Jean-Claude Van Damme shows up and like does one of those spinning um, uh, uh, kicks to my face. And so we're trying to sort of, you know, before the shot, we're sort of, you know, lining it up so I don't actually get kicked in the face by Jean-Claude Van Damme. And he goes, Phil, Phil, I'll never kick you. I will never, ever kick you, Phil. And uh, I'm doing a terrible Jean-Claude impersonation. I actually uh, like it. You I kind, you kind of are. <laughs> <laughs> but I, I just was like, better. <laughs> I was like, I was like, yeah, he's Jean-Claude Van Damme. He's not going to kick me. He knows what to do. So of course we shoot and the camera's behind me, you know, and I'm just going to like fake it. And he's, he's supposed to just like miss me, you know, like come right in front. And of course he kicks me. Of course, like just the tip (laughs) of his, the tip of his fucking shoe just goes like, and I was like, Oh, and I was like, I went down and I was like, all right, I got kicked in the face by Jean-Claude Van Damme. That's pretty fucking cool. Like whatever. Wow. What an (laughs) honor. Yeah, it was but, like a real honor. But you know, um, it's it's, it's a, a tough it's moment there because you don't want to look <laughs> weak in that moment. Like like on the league one time, there's this like whole setup that there was a a scary like boogeyman called like the Baba Man, and and I happened to be wearing a hoodie and walking down a dark alley, and they thought I was this like scary boogeyman, and they attack me and they start kicking me, and the uh, the stunt man's like, "You'll be fine. We'll put these." things on you and uh you'll be great but he didn't teach any of the actors how to like like hold back their kicks like so i'm on the ground in like downtown la with four dudes kicking me with both of their feet like bam 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 and i'm like covering my head and and i'm wearing like uh they call it like a, a gator like it's on your back and on your front like it's like it's armor but where you're not protected are your sides <laughs> like so like that that's exactly where they're kicking me and i literally like i'm like I'm like ah, ah like you know and i'm it's also like you're acting like ow 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 and so like they're not going <laughs> cut i'm like getting the shit kicked out of me uh by everybody and then like you're like how do you feel i'm like it's okay 
I, I feel okay. And I literally just had black and blues up <laughs> either side. I had like a bruised rib. Like it was just awful. And the, and the worst part was uh, the stunt guy at the end was like, you're fine. You're fine. Right. And I'm like, yeah, I, I kind of feel like they, they did kick me. And then I found out later that Jason Manzoukas was kicking me with steel toed shoes. Uh, and, and he was like, you're Jeez. fine. He's fine. I'm like, yeah, I, I just want to like, maybe oh, like so lay I down thought first. These were like, Oh no, these are actors. These are all the league guys who didn't know how to do any sort of stunts, <laughs> picking the shit out of me. Like, I so thought it every was stunt Ellis, man. like extras, you know. <laughs> no, no, this is all like, and they all thought I was protected. So he's like, just kick him. He's fine. And in theory, if I had protection there, I would have been fine. And That's so I'm like, all oh, hurt. And I'm like, oh guys, I'm like, um, and I couldn't take it off because I couldn't like raise up my arm. And uh, and I'm in this like alley. And he's like, dude, I really don't want to travel back to base camp. If you could just take off those pads right now, that'd be oh. great. So like to add insult to injury, like I'm getting undressed in an alley, like in downtown LA, like trying to take off pads, like in my underwear, like just black and blues. It was like, but also trying to be like, I'm fine. I'm fine. It was just, I, I feel like I try to be tough in front of a stunt man, but I'm oh, like, yeah, I always do. That. I always try to be tough in front of stunt people. And then I go home yeah. and I'm fucking like destroyed. <laughs> Um, hey, Adam, the um, kid detective man is so fucking cool and good. Ah, and I um, before I, bef I before that. I forget, before I forget, where do people watch it? I think I watched it on Apple TV, but can I, you watch it? Yeah, Apple, uh, Amazon, most of the rentals. Okay. I'm sure some, it's can we like stars, come over to your house yeah, if we want and like, yeah, yeah we come we over to your house. Come to your snacks, house. Right? Uh, yeah. yeah, yeah, we'll come to your house. I would love that. Um, I, would, I would love that. I expect where, that. Um, where, who directed all it? All the spots. Who, who directed that? That was like, also a kind of long process. I mean, like startup. Uh, I, this Canadian kid named Evan Morgan, I call him a kid, but he's, you know, mid thirties, early thirties, yeah. but younger than me. And um, met at a, you know, the Toronto Film Festival in like 2012. And he had a, and then I saw him at Sunday, did a movie. Anyways, he had like his, he didn't direct, but kind of co-directed a very cool little movie um, that won Slam Dance and pitched me this idea. I was like, great. And then sent me the first act. I loved it. We talked about where it could go. Came back a year later with the script, pretty much as is. Um, and then it was just like four or five years of just talking to, you know, having fairly boring conversations, trying to get it made with people, you know, figuring out how to skin that cat. And, um, and then uh, I always had given up hope, kind of. And then Canadian uh, telefilm ended up paying for a lot of it because I'm basically the only American in it. And oh, that wow. opened the door to more money. And so here we were like seven years later on the set. And that's never happened to me before. You know, I've never, I've tried to get a few things made. And after three, four years, they just kind of go away. And for this to, it was so weird to be on the set. Um, yeah. And then, uh, and such a dream to, and, and to kind of have a healthy budget and, get, and not really have to compromise creatively. Like yeah. that's the movie we want to make for better or worse. And um, so that was cool. We were so thankful for the money. Had two really good producers. I'll make this quick. But then um, we're editing during the pandemic and then found out that like, oh, it's a first look deal with Sony. It has to be like we have no choice. We didn't really know that. And they didn't like court us or tell us anything. Like you have to take it. We're like, what are they going to do with it? Yeah. And they're like, doesn't matter. They're not talking. You know what's talking. So right. gave it to them. And then like last October, um, couple weeks before like a week before they're like we're gonna put it on a thousand screens next week here's uh and this was like when everything was closed down right they're like here's a rough trailer give us notes if you want it's coming out tomorrow and here they're very nice i should say i don't Whoa. know you know yeah, but, yeah sure sure um and, so anyways it dropped you know with it was like everywhere and nowhere but it allowed us to get some nice reviews and get some built momentum so came on streaming and that's the story of that and it's still kind of I, finding some, I, some viewers I kind of feel like the cool thing about this time that we've been in is that whereas we're getting out of it now, people were so starved for good stuff. So I felt like stuff that was good really got like its props because it was like, we are just desperate to watch something new. And I feel like that was yeah. like one of those movies that like, yeah. in a weird way, because of this, it's like, yeah. great. It's like, what can I rent tonight? And yeah. it'll be on. And I can like, it's a, it's a weird thing, especially with movies like that, where it's like, you don't know 
how people will find it. But at that point, everyone was so ravenous to find anything. I, know. Like, oh, I heard about this. This is great. This is great. This it feels watch. like, and I think it happens anyway, but it reminds me of being on a plane and you're watching whatever you're watching like three movies at once, you know, and I'm up to, that looks yeah. good. I'll try that <laughs> next time when my neighbors watch them. Well, te- all right, I, I, oh. I didn't even set it up. Tell, tell people the setup of the movie. Uh, Cause I didn't, I, if people haven't seen it, give them sure. just sort of the, it's the a former setup. kid detective, like a boy, you know, town celebrated town, 12 year old detective who solves petty crime. And um, a girl, his age goes missing and um, is not found. And uh, it, he kind of can't get over it or move on. And neither can the town really. And 20 years later, 15 years later, it's me and he's still so he's a drunk and he's you know very stunted and still has the same office and is still solving um you know uh uh trivial little mysteries yeah but it's much i would say it gets darker than it much darker than it sounds and also yeah. um it's it's deeper than it sounds i mean it's a it's an admittedly very silly broad premise and it is very silly and broad but it also has um it has some nice, some rich themes as well. Yeah, I, I, I thought I thought that like the the genius of that movie is taking what would sound like a comedy pitch and and then putting uh, making it like very dramatic and real and grounded and because uh, it does sound if you just told someone that pitch in a bar like oh it's a kid detective that everyone used to love and he kind of never grew out of that and now he's like sort of a sad loser and he's a drunk and like. He's still obsessed with this one case he couldn't solve. Like, you know, it, it's it, it sounds a little bit like like comedy with a capital C, but it's like it totally played real. Yes. And uh, I just thought the tone of it, it's very like a noir movie. It's like a cool, like, like, like. It a, is. Like no, a, yeah. It is. It's, it's, a, it's that matchup of like almost blue velvet of like, because it's the ch- kids. Fi- it's like noir meets kids fiction. So it's bright, yeah. but dark and. Yeah. Uh, it's got these nice contrast, but um, you know what I really, really liked fun. about it. One of the things, and this was this is almost even more superficial, but what I got such a joy out of, and I think we and Evan did well, is like building a world. You know, building a sort of for all the love of Wes Anderson and Coen Brothers and Tarantino and those sort of heightened cartoony worlds or cinematic worlds. Like, there's actually not that many people make. I mean, I'm sure I know there's a million imitators, and uh, I yeah, just yeah. think you don't get to build a world that much, you know, it's, it was fun to kind of try and how many times well, can I, I say it, build a world? I'll say, oh I like building a world, but I, I feel like you're right. Like, I think that sometimes like world building is also looked at when it's so broad, like, and, and by the way, I love a Wes Anderson movie, of course, but like, there's something about like a more like avatar world building, but it's like, this is like a real, like you felt like it was lived in and, and kind of created like, so, I mean, subtle but like like i don't know it's like it's it's not a showy world building but it's like there if that makes sense or i don't know i like it felt a little bit different than like making it feel uh i don't know i think it was smart i think it was cool and smart and looked great yeah i don't I just find, remember i mean I'm, I'm saying all those but i don't find it derivative of any of those no like, yeah influence you know i just think it's got that nice Again, I I know it's a cheap word, but almost pulpy, cartoony kind of yeah. Background. Yeah, I, I think it's, it's cool. It's cinematic. I think it's amazing, man. When a when a director uh, um, can actually nail a specific tone, because it's so fucking hard. It's so hard, like because you know, like you read a script and you're like, this could be a really good script. This could also be garbage if the wrong person like makes this movie. Yeah. Dude, you know, like, yeah. but, but like a director, a, a really good director can, um, can, can create a tone that is consistent through the whole movie that like, that hasn't really been done before. You know, it's not like ripping off someone else. And I, I'm, I'm always blown away by that, man. I am fascinated by the show. I want to tell you both about it because it encapsulates exactly what you're talking about, Rob. It's a show called the chair. It was only on for one season on stars and the premise of the chair was one script two directors two different movies oh right I so it. I, love it. I don't know it but wow. I love it. yeah so yeah, it was done that. by one of the project Greenlight guys and it was a great idea so they That's get a more uh, interesting version yeah it was yeah, just like yeah. a fun it was really yeah because you actually saw what they brought to the process and what they had to do was they have this one script one guy was a YouTube guy and one and the woman was a um 
like a more of a mumblecore indie film director. And they both had to shoot in Pittsburgh, use the same, like they had access to all the same materials, same budget, same like locations. I mean, she could pick whatever locations, he could pick whatever, but they were in the yeah. same area. So, and the movies are so wildly different. It's yeah. shocking, but it really just goes to show you. And I feel like people don't get that. Like what someone brings to something, it's like the same script and mm -hmm. they both produced mm -hmm wildly different products it's crazy that's amazing. yeah oh, yeah i love it i i, I directing it's powerful it's really cool i, I actually yeah. had a um <laughs> it's funny my evan 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 who directed it like we we sort of disagreed we we, we clashed a little you know here he was my kid brother for five years as we tried to get his movie made. And then yeah. we get to say who he, he wrote it for me with, with me in mind. Right. And then we get to set. And then he's like up my ass first day, like one wow. of her so much. And it's just like, comes with too many notes, like right away where I'm like, yeah. I, I want to act it too, you know? Yeah. yeah, and, yeah. <laughs> but to tonally, because it, the third act is much, you know, even though all the clues are there and the themes and the, and the ideas and the plot is there to be a dark movie. The third act is much darker than the than the first and second act of the Kid Detective, and so he always kind of had his eyes on the prize. Ugh, I hate that I said that, but <laughs> so. um, and and you know, so. and and he um, so I would do it, and he goes smaller, smaller, smaller. You know, and I'm like really yeah. smaller still. He's like, yeah, too much. I'm like, really too much still, because that was about that was about a one, but you want to yeah, 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 less. And so I got to a point where I was like, well, I clearly have the authority to go, I'm going to do what I want. Just you back off and I'm, this is where right, I'm right. doing and you can direct me in the parameters of where I want to be. But I was like, this movie is going to succeed or fail because he's a genius or not. And like, I can either go with his vision or I'm not going to reverse engineer this to being a great movie. If he doesn't already have the right idea, then the right. movie's fucked and what are we going to do? So I decided to trust him with some caveats. And he was mostly very right. So <laughs> I mean, but by the way, like it's it's a hard that's a hard thing to do because I think it's like it makes you super vulnerable too. Like, it, well, like but you, also you know. also with like a younger director, and I I can't remember if this guy was a new director or whatever, but like yeah, yeah it's, if it's like first if it's, time director. Yeah, so that's terrifying. It's terrifying because yeah. it's just like this could be some dude that doesn't know what the fuck he's doing, and I just blew three months away from my family yeah, in yeah. fucking Canada, you know, like, or whatever. Yeah. But in Canada, yes. But I did, the script is genius. So it's yeah, like, right, yeah. I know he's a genius. I just don't know if he's a genius director or just a writer, you know, but like, right. I do he, know he's a fucking bright guy. There That's is a, awesome. there's a great article. I got to find it. It's when this movie last Vegas came out and it's like Michael Douglas, Morgan Freeman. And, um, Oh, like I want to say Alan Arkin. Michael Kane. I'm, I'm just gonna Michael Kane. Alan yes. Arkin, Mark, okay, great. So it basically like old man hangover, right? It's like yeah. Michael Douglas is getting married, and they're all going to Vegas, and they're doing this like roundtable discussion with them at EW, and like what the interviewer basically goes like, you know, and you're working with this new director, and you know, what did he bring to the table? And then they all immediately go off like, oh, I don't listen to the director at all. No, 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 no. Like, oh, yeah, no, no, no. If, I, I don't need to get notes from this guy. It's like Morgan Freeman's like, oh, no, no, I'll never take a note from a director. <laughs> like they, they all like they're all ag in a full agreement that they will never listen to a director. And I was oh, like, I got to I got to I got to address this situation in the chat. I said fucking Canada. That was not a uh, slam on Canada. Everybody, everyone it just means you were away from home. That's uh, all yeah, right. I away would, from I far would, away from home. Yes, yeah. I would move to Canada tomorrow uh, if they would have me. Yeah, I love Canada. By the um, way, Adam, I, I want to talk to you about one thing just to see if you had the same experience I did. First of all, we're both in this documentary about Blockbuster that I didn't really remember shooting. And then it came on Netflix, and I feel like everyone in the world saw this documentary. Like, I... I have you like felt that too? Like people have talked to you about this doc at all? Yes, yes, and 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 not to just to bring in startup again. It's the power of like the homepage of Netflix is times probably so, five times the viewership of yeah, any other homepage, yeah. and yeah, it's very yeah, good yeah. interface too. It's big, you know, it's attractive. It's like, and I just see it with the startup as well. Like, oh, you're on the homepage, and it's a, it's a, it's a changes your life. Well, it's yeah. it's a wild thing because it's like. 
no one like when people go i have to cut back on whatever i'm subscribing to no one's cutting back on netflix like netflix will always be like well yeah. i'll always have netflix and then i'll get other dude, stuff but, yeah. dude yeah, you yeah, know what's yeah, crazy yeah. what's yeah. crazy about the home page is when after we did medical police um we had a meeting with like their marketing team and i just didn't know how it all works but they obviously have so many different box covers um, that they can target to different audiences specifically. So yeah, if yeah. it's a female audience that's interested in Adam Brody, Adam's going to be on the cover. If it's yeah. a male audience and there's a, a hot girl in the movie, they're going to mm -hmm. put the girl on the box. And, and, you know, so when we went in there for medical police, like they had like all these different versions and they're like, and when it goes to Germany, we're going to have Jason Schwartzman on the cover because he's big. And, you know, I was like, I mean, wow. they figured it all mm -hmm. out. Like, it's crazy. And I mean, you know, and obviously also they just have all yeah. the data in the world. They can see like, not just how many people watch it, how long they watched it, what else they watch, um, who else they're friends with. So like, they can just fucking like laser beam it in. And uh, you're right, dude. It can just like change like the fucking like the course of a whole project like they can blow you up or conversely they can bury yeah. you too like you could just be like oh okay never mind i know it's so wild it's like it's like when you get in that yeah, moment if you're not where on the homepage and you're not suggested then you can't be no one's searching for it you know? yeah, yeah right yeah, it's yeah, like yeah, it's yeah, too yeah. much at that point it's like yeah what like just get me like because you don't you're not going to go i don't type in by the time i'm like yeah, yeah, yeah. it's yeah. like forget about that, it that makes me think about um the other project we all did together a million years ago which was burning love which oh um, my god i forgot all about that yeah, that we were all which, in it. Yeah, that we yeah, were all yeah. in. Yeah, and um, uh, Ken Marino uh, was sort of the uh, and Erica. What's uh, it, it, what's what's Erica's last name? It's his, it's his wife. Oh, right? yeah, 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 yeah. Er Erica Oyama. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She wrote it and directed it, and Ken sort of honchoed it all. Uh, but uh, uh, that was one of those things that, like, I still have such affection for that because it was a dumb parody of a very dumb genre you know like all those bachelor shows but but <laughs> but we shot it not all in, the, yeah just, yeah 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 but but right. shooting shooting in one of those real mansions we were in, in a real yeah yeah but also just to do a project like that with like for real like in my mind just the funniest people and like the in paul not the least of which is june june uh, oh people don't people don't know Paul's wife June. Uh, Paul's wife, my is, wife, is the star of Burning Love and season is, two. Yeah, the season two, and is the fucking funniest thing I've ever seen. Like she's so good, and like everyone else was just sort of window dressing uh, for June. But like, she really killed. It was such a funny bit, and they did such a great job with it. And I can't believe like what I loved about it was that premiered on Yahoo. And uh, a lot of people who were watching it thought it was real and they <laughs> yeah. were writing in the comments like they didn't understand because I feel like there were certain people that they did recognize and then they would write them off like so they'd be like, oh, I recognize Adam. It's weird. That he's on a dating show like and they, <laughs> but then they were like, but this is a dating show like there was like this weird disconnect because it was going out to so many people like the Yahoo homepage like it's just like who is that for? I don't know who's it. And I remember people getting into fights about it and like this is a scripted comedy show. Like, and they were in the chat going, I bet this person could get kicked off next. She does not like him. She does not like that guy. Like, yeah. 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 But they, but they need to find that thing needs to find a better home. Like that should be on Netflix yeah. or, or, yeah. Or something. yeah. 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 Oh um, uh, it's amazing too. How like uh, that was like what, 10 years ago. And it's like, it's wild. I don't know how long this bachelor show can last, but I, mean, I guess, I guess it'll By the be way, we were making, for a few years. We yeah. were that the bachelor show at that point, I think was on for 10 years and being like, okay, well, it yeah, can't yeah. get more heightened than this. And then if you watch the bachelor now, we're not as heightened as the actual bachelor. I remember they put a woman in yeah. and she had an issue where um, she had, uh, she was missing one of her limbs and they put her in a roller derby and she's like, I, guys, I feel really uncomfortable. I don't want to do this. I feel like I can't. I, I just am bad with my balance and I can't really do this. And, and they're like, you got to, if you want the rose, you got to do it. And I'm like, and that was a whole sequence. This woman, like, okay, to get the, I'll do it. And it was like, that was like 
that would be like if we wrote that back. Like, that's too mean. That's too weird. You can't do that. <laughs> and they 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 usurped us within a year. The Bachelor is doing way crazier stuff than the Burning Love ever did. Yeah, I, yeah. I'm honestly surprised because that sounds interesting compared to what I've seen of it. And I've seen like a good two, three, se- solid yeah. three seasons. And I'm just always surprised at like how they, how much they, how bland they make it. It's like, there's five lines. We're going to have 20 right. seasons this week you can say five fucking things. And you have all these real people, even if they're boring people, like you're in a room and you're human beings and you're on a yeah. mountaintop and you're doing interesting things, kind of. And like, I'm sure something was in, of, of note was said, but it's like, I can't believe they can keep going, keep it, you know. The dinner engaging. dates are so boring because it's like, they, you're right. They're not saying anything. They're like, are you here for the right reasons? Yeah, I am here for that. Like, they're just contractually talking about- allowed to say five things. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> but they, like, they're like they talking about love, but they're not getting to know each other. It's like, I want to be in love. I do want to be in love. Do you want to fa- like, but wait, but who are you? Like they, ne- like I, those dinners make me so angry. I like getting to the dinner and I like the people waiting around that didn't get asked for the dinner but whenever you actually see the the true connection it is it is garbage talk it's just like i like pillows i like pillows but it's like even that's almost too much information that they're sharing <laughs> um dude i'm so glad to see you man and yeah. uh and i'm and i'm i can't wait to see what you're what you're working on next and uh and and where we got to tell people one more time where they can watch kid detective and where all they can streaming watch platforms just go to and, app oh all, all streaming right streaming. everywhere Sorry. everywhere Okay. Yeah, yeah, all yeah, streaming yeah. platforms for Kid Detective. Uh, the startup is on Netflix. Startup Netflix. Yeah, check yeah. that out. And uh, those are great. And like the startup is really fun and really good. Is it one of those things where they would be like, oh, let's do more of these? I mean, is that even something in the cards? Or are they? You know, I see it on Twitter, obviously, but I've yeah. heard zero. And I, I, I'm actually rewatching it myself because <laughs> I'm, I'm on location and I have this nice little. Uh, Got a nice little TV, and oh, nice. uh, um, <laughs> they have Netflix here, and then my, my the, the place I'm renting. And anyways, um, <laughs> and I'm appreciating I'm appreciating it way more. You know, Crackle made it so hard to enjoy it. They punished you with these commercials that you couldn't see yeah, past, yeah. and they were um, they played the same commercial every like they pick three commercials and do that every yeah, five minutes which is the that. most it's like i've seen it i get it allegra i don't need it but thank you like it's like <laughs> how many times do i need to see allegra commercials in the same moment they, they're daring 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 you to watch it and so yeah. i've never really like watched it in an optimal just like been able to stream it easily i've watched some on like i've watched most of them on my computer you know but yeah seeing it on the tv i'm like I have a newfound appreciation for it i was like what's this start for everyone's liking i love <laughs> it good. it's so good uh Adam, it's so great to see you, buddy. Good luck. Great to see you, you dude. Are. Yeah. Enjoy Thanks. your... Thanks for having Thank me. And, and, yeah. and good to see you, too. Okay, good buddy. You, we'll buddy. talk to you soon. Bye. All right. Rob, uh, Adam Brody. Class, class act. Great guy. Um, good guest. Good guest. Super funny uh, in everything that he does. And I will say this, uh, and great actor, too. Um, we have a very special guest. I don't know if you know this, but uh, Fast and Furious, uh, Fast 9, is out this weekend. This is it. Big huge weekend for fast Wait, nine it starts it starts this weekend for real i didn't know last that. night last night was the first ever oh screening gosh. 7 p.m it started can People i ask, coming a, back can I ask to, yeah. a question and i'm already yeah. worried about uh the answer yeah i audition i auditioned for it if i haven't heard by now is it the sort of thing where i, I probably won't uh, get it i mean rob i'd say the chances are, are pretty slim to none that you're oh, going to be it's just because my daughter it's out, it's my daughter out. gave me this hat and um i know you like the hat yeah yeah uh, i just got uh, need to buy uh you know uh, diapers, hey, diapers you know, for look, my daughter the good and... news is there's gonna be two more oh to, great to finish it up so okay. maybe they're we're gonna hold your character for the next one but we actually do have somebody it's actually really cool and it was a last minute thing that's why we're doing the show on friday we actually have someone from the movie molly you want to maybe roll a clip of uh Oh, take, you kind of familiar? Yeah, take a look. This is uh, who we got in the movie here. Hold on. You can have any brew you want, as long as it's a Corona. Thanks, man. That's Vinci, so enjoy it. You. Hey, bro, you got a bathroom? 
That's right, Rob. Whoa. We have one Vin of the Diesel? biggest stars. Well, it's got to be Vin. It's, I mean, it's got to be Vin. Bigger than Vin Diesel. We have Corona. The Corona bottle that has been hey. in all nine movies. Hey, hey welcome, Corona. Oh, wow. Yeah. Oh, I look so young. Oh, my God. I look so young in that movie. <laughs> Oh, so, I mean, that was the first one. Yeah. Wow. Look at this 20 years later. Uh, I, I mean, did you? Yeah. I How do you feel? Yeah. Oh, man. I'm such a fan. I, I, I got to be honest. I haven't seen all of the movies, all the Fast 9, Fast 5 movies, but yeah. I'm a fan in general, you know, like I, I love, I love, I love it, you know? Yeah. And I know you've had a tough year, obviously. Uh Yes. Oh, I didn't even think about that because of coronavirus. Oh. It's, been a little, it's been a little hard, but it's like, um, uh, you know, uh, when you go to like a party and your name is Sarah and then there's another Sarah and, and like maybe Sarah's the birthday girl and then everyone's right. like, oh, happy birthday, Sarah. And then you say, it's not my birthday. It's kind of like that. I've kind of been a lot of like, oh, did someone call my name? Why is everybody mad at me? So Yeah, right. Oh, I know. It's honestly been really humbling because, you know, not everyone's always – talking about you okay paul and rob so yeah right, you know. right, right well i was gonna i was gonna say that you know it's been 20 years i've read all these retrospectives about the movie and you know and all the 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 central characters but i i do feel like i haven't really seen i don't know much highlighting of of your performance i mean you've been there for every movie except for uh tokyo drift which uh yeah. Surprising, yeah. Yeah, I yeah don't know Tokyo Drift, my team, my team couldn't really get um we couldn't really cover airfare for that Got one. Got it, yeah. Um, oh. I, was, I was busy, I was honestly busy doing some other work, so that was fine. Okay, and cool. and in uh and in Fast Day, they did sub me out for Miller Light, who's my homie. And you know, that. sometimes in Hollywood you gotta spread the wealth around. Yes, right, I hear that. Right, yeah, right, and, right, right, right. And right. you know, I, I want to just say, like, I mean, you worked with great people. I, I love the scene with you and Kurt Russell when he throws down, you know, uh, you in front of uh, all the team. But who was fun to work with there? I mean, any any behind the scenes stories or anything like that? Oh yeah. shit! Here we go. I mean, Vin's a great guy. Uh, what like, really? I didn't. Vin's I great. I thought I didn't think he was going to be cool at what. all. No, he's cool. He's very well. He's got sweaty hands. Oh, oh, gross. Yeah, he's got sweaty hands, but so there's a lot of talcum powder on me. Makeup did a great job. Uh, Michelle Rodriguez, absolute doll. Uh, oh, great. Yeah. Yeah, wow. she's, got, she's got strong grip. I, I was like, whoa, okay. Yes, yeah. yes, yes. I don't want to, I don't want to, I don't want to, look, I'm having a great time having you here. I, I do want to just go back for a second and say, like, when you say the Vin has sweaty hands, I, I, I would say that when you, you know, a lot of times when we see you on screen, you are pretty wet, like you're perspiring glycerin. a lot. Yeah, glycerin. yeah. Glycerin. It's all glycerin. That's what oh, they used to wow. do in the Rocky movies. Also, they used to just so much glycerin and Vaseline, and then they spray water bottle. I'm constantly sticky and soapy. No, I mean Vin has sweaty hands, but I'm you know, okay. I'm oh, okay, this is good. Anyway, yeah. A gotcha, little trick, gotcha. uh, trip of the trade, you know, trick of the trade yeah. there. Okay, wow. Okay, this is actually really fascinating. Yeah. Uh, hey, let you me know, ask like, you a yeah. question because uh, I love the uh, Corona commercials. I I'll, sometimes I don't even watch the TV shows. Yeah. I'll just watch the commercials. And yeah. uh, there's a bunch with like Snoop Dogg right now, yeah. which I think are great. But there's one that I love. It's a classic that they trot out every year. It's the Christmas one where it's like a, it's dark on the beach yeah. and it, all you hear is like whistling. It's like yeah, yeah, yeah. someone's yeah. whistling. Oh, Christmas tree. And then they light up a palm tree. Yeah. And, uh, oh man. I, Rob, I, I just, I just want to stop you, Rob. I don't want you to embarrass yourself. Uh, what? That's what not it? the same Corona bottle. Like they, just because Different. they look alike, they're not, yeah, they're not the same. Like, not, not the same. Um, it's a little also, insulting. Yeah. Like, we could talk about my commercial work. Like, yes, I do pay my rent by doing commercials, but yeah. that's why I'm an actor. Oh, and, and it's a thing where, it's a, you know, Paul asked me on to talk about my movies. Yeah. And, oh, shit. Oh, fuck. No. Yeah, I just wanted sorry, to kind of like, man. yeah, just kind of nip yeah, that in sorry. the bud. Yeah. Yeah. You just yeah, didn't no. tell me. Yeah. It's okay. Oh, I'm it's sorry. Whoa, 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 whoa,
chill for it. You can have it with the dinner. You what do you mean? That, what do you mean they get? The, they give you the buzz that you need. Like, what, what does know, that mean? You know, sometimes you want a buzz, but you don't want to yeah. be burping and farting all over all over the place. Oh you yeah, right. Morning after poops. Oh, I see. Uh, all right, yeah. Kind so of it's kind of like, yeah, yeah. Kind of yeah. riding that line between being like too drunk to drive and just drunk enough that driving is a little bit more fun. Yeah, I'm never too drunk to drive, though. I always ride that line real nice. Yeah, no, I, pre I appreciate <laughs> that. Well, because they take a breathalyzer and they're like, uh, uh, excuse me, you're a thousand percent alcohol. And I was like, okay, tell me yeah, something. Right. Well, it's like what they say, like sometimes if you want to beat a breathalyzer, you eat a lot of chocolate. I think the lime kind of cuts down too on the breathalyzer. So it's like, yeah, as long as yeah. Like, yeah, I don't. Um, yeah. Well, I, uh, is this a weird thing though? I mean, uh, obviously you are uh, synonymous with a brand. Uh, you know, you are an actor, of course, and you can do your own things. But I I'm just worried that like, you know, I, I would expect you to be drinking a Corona. You want me to drink myself? You want oh me my God, I didn't. With, uh, Paul. I didn't oh. even think about that. I'm so sorry. You're right. That would be like almost like that's terrible. That's like a chicken eating chicken nuggets or something like that. Yeah, that's, that's awful. Like, chickens eat cows. Cows eat chickens. That's how the world works. So Corona drinks right. make ultra light, and I would hope make ultra light would drink a Corona. But you know, I my mom made me the way I am. I'm I'm t I'm done looking in the mirror, trying to pretend like I'm something I'm not, trying to yes. be someone I'm not. This whole year of past wow. Corona has honestly been a lot of. Uh, self introspection, a lot of self reflection, a lot okay. of who am I? Who do I want to be? When I wake up in the morning, who do I want to show up as? You know? Yeah. And I'm yeah. tired of just being the, the, you know, the fratty guy. You know, I read books. Right. right I, of right. course. And we're not saying that you don't. I mean, I mean, is there any projects you, you want to be involved in? Anything, any, any roles that you might want to do? I mean, I don't, oh, yeah. don't want to like. Yeah. You know, this book. <laughs> you know, this book. This is called D Day Girls. This is about okay. all of the women who are underrepresented in World War II. I'd love to do a project. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah like. Uh, all right. Well, uh, that, that's world. great. Yeah. You would you, you would play a girl in World War II? No, I'm just always in their bag. I'm like the fun sidekick. Uh, you know. Oh, I see. Right. Yeah. Oh, yeah. She's yeah. never so going to still... break the role. Yeah. Okay. So she's always going to be herself. Yeah. She's going to be yeah. Corona. Okay. We also but, got. Yeah. We also. This is a great book. Wings of Ebony. Okay. Great okay, yeah. YA novel. A young girl discovers that she's half wizard, and ah, uh, and she, and her and her best friend Corona Bottle take are able to restore order to the natural kingdom. Oh, you know? I mean, okay, hey, that think, brings yeah. up a great point, and I've always been uh, I've wanted to ask this, but I've been kind of worried to ask this. How many Coronas? Uh, does it take to get a child drunk? Like, uh, if I wanted Wait, to get, you've get always my, wanted to ask that. Yeah, because I, you know, oh, I you'd be surprised. A lot of people, I get this question all the time. Yeah, because I, I don't, want, I don't want to get, I don't want to get kids really drunk. But, uh, but I don't, I wouldn't mind getting like a bunch of kids a little bit drunk, you know. So well, I just I don't mean, know, people, Rob. Oh, it is illegal. See, I didn't yeah. know because well, of the yeah well, because of the pandemic. I wasn't clear yeah. on the laws, you know, because I, really I thought it was. Has changed. Well, then, yeah, nothing has actually changed normally when it comes. Yeah. So alcohol is poison. It metabolizes in a certain way in your body. It's poison. I'm not supposed to be consumed. It's just kind of like the way the world is. If I had my druthers, I would probably be uh, used. Now more. you're getting on your soapbox. I don't want to. Look, I told you. Like, this is Paul. I'm doing a lot of work on who I am. And maybe I don't okay. want to be just a guy who gets 16-year-olds fucking so wasted they can't remember when their cherries get popped. Maybe I don't oh. want to be the guy who's always on a boat and who's always wanted to play oh. a Lil Wayne this, Drake this. I read books about girls in Okay. 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 You know what? You, you, you know what? You know what? I, I wanted this to be a nice interview. I didn't want this to be a soapbox piece. Thank you, Corona. Thank you for being here. And, and I think, I, 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 I mean, I, I think, yeah, we got to oh, cut this. Oh, yeah, what? Oh, oh, I'm sorry. Oh, I'm a no. good time. I swear I'm a good time. It's the one thing I know I'm really good at. And she, maybe, maybe Corona had too many Miller Genuine drafts or whatever it was that yeah. she was drinking yeah, before. MGD, yeah. Um, uh, let yeah. Let me ask you this. Let me ask you this. Yeah. Uh, a lot of people, like to put a lime in a Corona. And I've always just been curious about if there isn't, aren't there other things that could also go in there that could be delicious? You know what I mean? Oh, like, 
Yeah, well, let's you see know. what we got. What do we got in here? What do we got? Let me just check out what we got in my bottle right now. Really underrated. Whoa. What the you can hell? Put a dog, oh, my God. You can put a dog in a Corona? Yeah, preferably a Chihuahua, Mexican. Oh, kind of yeah, there. yeah. Now, does that make the dog very drunk? Like, is that is that a drunk dog right oh, there? Oh, yeah. And there's no laws against that as far as I'm aware of. Okay. Wait yeah, there, oh, you, no, all right. You can't get it. I mean, you're right. There is no technical law that you can you can't get your dog drunk, but I just think it's more of an ethical thing, right? Says who? Yeah, that dog okay, is yeah. drunk as fuck. Look at that dog. All right. That just, dog is know, so drunk. Look at him. He's dancing. He's so drunk. He's dancing. All right, you know what? Look at him dancing. Look at him. He's so fucking drunk. Whoa. Okay. Oh, uh, no. there Corona, he is. He's you, back. Corona, can you tell us like what to expect in Fast Nine? Any, uh, yeah, any no keys, spoilers. Anything? Yeah. No spoilers. I mean, is it true that maybe the reason why Han survived was because he drank a ton of Corona and his body was not flammable? Is that like, is that true? I don't want to, no I'll spoilers, what, obviously. I really tried to get it in the writer's room. I was in the writer's room. Me and all my friends were in a wow. big old bucket. We were in that writer's room. And uh, God, by the end of the day, we're just drained, you know, just absolutely yeah, yeah, yeah. drained yeah. by the bottom of writing days. And, you know, they take pitches and they say, oh, good pitch. And then they kind of go on to the next person. Yeah. Um, but I right. can tell you, lots of cars going really fast. Everybody's mad. Uh, hey, fast and furious. And look, that's all we're there for. That's why we like the fast saga. Corona bottle, thank you so much for being here. It was, oh, the, the dog is Look at yeah, how drunk he is. Look at him. He's dancing again. He's dancing. Oh, my God. Uh, well, thank you, Corona Bottle. Uh, we'll all go out to the theater this week and support you. And remember, uh, oh, Corona floating. Bottle is, whoa, my God. Because <laughs> he's in that bottle of beer. Uh, oh, I mean, he's in, okay, I don't, I know, I don't want to get into where he is. But the idea being that, you know what? Fast and Furious family is big and you are a part of it and we represent you there. And uh, I know that you're not getting a lot of talk show appearances, but congratulations on your I great appreciate role. It, Paul. You did a great job wrapping it up and tying everything great together. Wrap up. Yeah. Great wrap yeah, up. Yeah, you know, I always try. I always try. I always try. So uh, get out to the theaters, Fast 9 this weekend. Uh, there you go. Wow. <laughs> great wrap up, Paul. You know, great try to get up. there. And that, of course, is uh, A.D. Weirich, who you know, uh, she's uh, she's great on Instagram. But she has been in so much fun stuff. I'll tell you some of the fun stuff that she's been in. It's got to put, put on, on your glasses. glasses. Oh, I love it when you put on your glasses because you look like such a fucking idiot, man. What oh, kind of an yeah. idiot wears fucking Wait glasses? Look at yourself. You look at look in okay. the mirror. I was just about to. And, and, and look in the mirror right now at, at, at your glasses and ask yourself, do I look weak? Okay. Oh, I'm just noticing that. I am currently wearing. Oh yeah, you're wearing glasses. glasses. I didn't even also. put that together because you carry yourself with such an energy that's like, oh non boy, yeah. I gotta. Well, really anyway, think about eighty this. is on marvelous Miss Maisel crashing. Uh, your pretty face is going to hell, uh, and and you know she's great. Yeah, she's great, really great. Really great. She is uh, great. Thank you to Corona the beer. Um, do you was that a Corona commercial? Was that did did you? Let me ask you and be honest. Was that do, I did get. I get. I get. I did. I did, I did make some money on the side on that. Because see, Paul, I feel like you do that all the time. You always like mention products and get these private deals where I, that I'm not in on. It, like, how, know, just just out of curiosity, I'm not going to get pissed. Yeah. How much money do you get paid for for that Corona spot? One hundred twenty-five thousand dollars. What? I could but buy Rob, but so Rob, I, I want you to know. I want you to know. I'm like, I'm working. Um, I'm working really like hard right now. Like, I'm like, and and securing us deals. I don't know if you. I don't know if you saw. I was talking to my my good friends yesterday. Let me see if I can show it to you here. Um, where is it? Uh, let me see. Um, I was talking to one of my somebody who I feel like you know is a uh, a good friend of mine, and and I was talking to him about you too. I don't know. Can you see that? Um, your uh, wait a second. Who is that? Uh, just my buddy, Tim Cook. Oh, wow. The CEO of Apple. Yeah. We were talking and I said, you know, uh, can we get, you know, what can we do to help out this company? Cause I know you guys are struggling a little bit. Yeah. And, they, yeah. and, uh, and Tim Apple, uh, Tim Apple. <laughs> where Tim, did you, where did you meet Tim Apple? <laughs> I was at, uh, the Apple store opening in downtown LA yesterday, oh, uh, my. which 
w- was truly a one of a kind event. It Hold they on. Ref- are you getting yeah. paid for this mention of Apple? Tim? No. He, is Tim there in your house? Hold on one second. Well, no, but all right. So just say no. And then, yeah. yeah, no, I'm not. I'm talking about Apple because I love Apple products and, uh, you know, and, and cell phones and watches. Um, and you know, this is just a pure love of it. So I went to this event and I'd never been to an Apple opening. I didn't even know there was such a thing as an Apple opening. They have taken six years to renovate this theater in downtown LA. And it is un like truly unbelievably beautiful. Like they restored it to how it looked originally and the store kind of fits inside of it, but they still have a movie screen and everything like that and a balcony. Um, and when I walked in, the doors had just opened to the general public. And I guess the idea is that everyone is celebrated as they come in. So every person who walked through the door got like this rousing applause Yo. as they walked down the aisle. So it was like, bam, 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 was screaming, yeah, yeah. And like every it. single person. And then every person walked in like they were a rock star. Like, oh, I'm here. I don't like it. I and don't it was like. And they all were like, it was like a big Mardi Gras parade. Everyone was like, ba 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 na And it was like, and they're all normal people. And then like Tim Cook is like in the middle of that line. Like it was like normal, 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 Tim Cook. And he's like, everyone's like, yeah. And then what I didn't realize there, and I met so many uh, amazing people. They were lovely. But there are a bunch of people who are like Apple groupies. Uh, uh, like one guy I met has been to 31 openings. Oh, but- what a dick. And then the other person I met came over to me and said, uh, <laughs> lovely person, came over to me and was like, do you know who that is? And I said, no. He goes, that's the head of Apple Human Resources. <laughs> and I was like, oh, cool. And I like went over oh and like gosh. shook Are that. Like, like they There's knew. A, they like knew. groupies that go around to these openings and like, like you flying to Phoenix for that basketball game, these people are flying around to Apple opening the, stores. The dude that I met from uh, that went to all thirty-one openings or thirty-one, he went to Rome. He went to Rome for the oh. opening of an Apple store, and I have to say, after going to an opening of an Apple store, it was unlike anything they have like a live band playing a guy like up on a balcony like just jamming out on a guitar like and there's like tons of camera crews and there is like a true i don't know it was like an mc was there like running it like check it out i would love to know i would love to know because you know that is such a brand that has obviously infiltrated our lives like more more than any other brand i would say and um I, I would like to know what that subculture is like. You know what I mean? Like, like at those events, is it like Comic Con where you get the vibe that that at night there's some crazy sex going on? You know, like, hey oh. everybody, Tim Tim Apple's having a fucking dungeon at the hotel on the you know like. And people are just strapped up with iPhones and, you know, like, like everyone comes dressed like, uh, like that battle of Corona, just in a full, like <laughs> they do like, they do Apple play, like, yeah, you know, some plays yeah, like, yeah. uh, you know, you know, some people come dressed as a Newton. Real yes. idea. Oh yeah. Or like one of those old IMAX, you know, like the color, oh, the one. colored IMAX. I, I will wonder, say like, like and, is and I went, re- is, does the human resources guy or girl go there and just like, get super laid like hey how are you i do human resources i'm the i'm the vp of human resources now eat my butt you know like you know what i think it is it's like these people seemingly work their asses off and when they come here it was like thank you like yes we're figuring out air tags we're trying to figure out what how we can make new ipod pro headphones like whatever it is they're re- like they're like and this is like their, there's like they're coming. It's like their premiere in a way. Like I felt like there was an energy there that was like, we did it. Like it felt like a premiere. Like, and that's, that's the only way I can kind of describe it in the sense of it was very triumphant. It was like, I, I guess it felt like a church revival too. Cause I felt like people were shaking and jumping up and down and just like, and, and it wasn't like I'm there to buy anything. It's like, I'm there to hang. 
yeah. Like there was like no speeches that I saw. It was like we're just gonna like hang out in the the racks. Someone in the chat said, "Is there gonna be a podcast in the middle of this ad?" Uh, (laughs) Is the um? I just had never done it. I think it's interesting. They've never been to the. Yes, I hear you. You, while, as long as you're you're eating their butts out, it, did you buy a product while you were there? I did. I did what buy a product. Fucking Paul, what was it? I bought uh, an air tag and an I don't air even know tag. What that is. Wait, okay, that's an air tag is a tile. That's what your dermatologist will take off if you have an air yeah. tag. The dermatologist will freeze it. I got. Uh, I mean, it's a similar tag. I mean, I you know you have a tile, right? Do you have tiles that like do 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 those things? No, no, that reminds me of the video that McDougal made. Shout out to <laughs> McDougal. Uh, uh this, this kid on Twitter is making good videos. That oh my god, yeah, McDougal, <laughs> thank you for making a do 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 do. Um, the uh, follow McDougal on Twitter, we'll retweet him. Uh, I wonder what he's cut together already. <laughs> but oh uh, an air tag is just like a tile, so you put it on a keychain, and there it is. I uh, and you uh, and then you can like find it, but uh, the tiles are sort of sometimes like a little bit. I don't know. Why, why am I talking about tiles? I got a tie. I got a, uh, an air tag. Okay, but why did you get it? Who? What are you going to track? I because was, I was, I, my teacher, I'm this, yes. if I'm June, if I'm June right now, I would be mm-hmm. checking my fucking car for Paul's fucking tile because uh, that's, because that's what you're going to do. Exactly. I, I know you and you're yeah. going to track your wife around town oh, and that is it. not cool. You know it. What she did one night, my wife was sleeping um and i have a small razor blade that i treat uh you know i clean it and make it nice and clean and i made a small incision in her heel uh which is the 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 uh the spot the the only device in her body wow so you already knew the ending of that yes that's what i did do get her the vaccine because here's the thing uh she's allergic to magnets so i can't get her that vaccine right now (laughs) okay that checks out um but uh there's mcdougall's uh handle there um no but it was it was just an event that i'd never really seen and then what happened unfortunately was um they're like do you want to meet tim and i said of course i want to meet tim but then i didn't really think about what that conversation would be and and no offense but does he know who the fuck you are like no of course not i mean uh, I was there and Mark Duplass, thank God Mark Duplass was there because Mark has a show on Apple TV, the uh, newsroom show. Oh, yeah, yeah, so he yeah. was very uh, interesting. Well, morning. sorry, yes, morning show. Wait, he by was the way, very, yeah. shout out to Duplass. The morning show is great. My wife and I, yeah. I went in there ready to hate that show. I think because I auditioned for it. And uh, it it's really good. It's really good. It's really good. Jennifer Aniston is awesome. Reese and um, Dude, Reese great. with it yeah they're all great so he was very excited about hearing about the show and then i got to tag along a little bit more on that so we got to we got to do it and i will say that tim cook's face lit up when i said uh i just bought my son an ipad because (laughs) uh he was like oh like it was like a genuine thing it was like it would be like me telling you like Rob, I just saw that that you know that passion like that little project that you worked on and you were great in it like i like he was like oh man yeah, yeah, Thank yeah. you. You got not, like not like that. It's the most successful, biggest company in the world, and this is like a product that billions of people have. Right. Um, but like, I, I will but, never say like. Did you, Gus, did you yeah. ask him? Did you ask him why don't you guys pay taxes? Because that's what I would have said. I would have yeah, said, see, hey, was... "Hey, Tim Apple, how are you? I just got an iPad. Why don't you pay fucking taxes for your corporation?" pay taxes and then he would look at me and go because i'm a scientologist and i said what <laughs> and then all of a sudden i'm put in a cage with shelly miscavige and then i don't know and then i'm not here for the show and that's why i didn't do it <laughs> um uh, yeah okay. so well, I, there it is I hope, I hope you will you let us know about june's comings and goings like i want to know if you put the tile in her body surgically in her where she is right now i would like to know where she is at all times oh this is interesting she is at huh what is is she she? doing over there she is it kind of wait a second what the hell man where is she what the hell where is she her car is parked at your house (laughs) what her car is parked at your house go go what you she's a tim tim 
get your get people, out. get your people, get your people over to the, the fucking Jeez. east side. Jeez. I don't Jeez. care. It's so far. Go, Jeez. What? Jeez. Who are you talking? Who are you talking to? Who are you talking to? Assassins. Who are you talking? Tim, apple get your goons. Spot. Get your Assassin. apple goons over there. Go. 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 Tim, who this are you talking to? Who right. are you talking to? Right now, all I care Go. about is Twan. Get, them get home. Go back to your stupid husband. We got to forget all this. Now get Wait. out of here, girl. Go on home. What's I up? want to talk to you. I want to talk to you offline because I feel like, did you say all I care about is Twanch? That's my child. Twanch is my child. I would tell you, do a DNA test, dumb shit. What? I can't see anything. <laughs> Oh my god. Um Um no, that was a it was a, a real a real go moment. On. Go on, June. Get. Get. Him. Get. Out Him. Out get. You get out of here, right, June. Hold on. Hold on one second. Yeah. Okay, sure. Isn't it? All right. I just have to put my fingerprint on this thing and it, yeah, okay, cool. Uh the uh yeah, I had to get my kid an iPad because oh no. Get oh, out God. Of here. Uh, go, the school confiscated back all their school iPads and it was such a bummer for Gus because uh, Gus was just sort of like, wait, they're taking it away? And it was like, because you don't know, yeah, we don't really do that kind of stuff in the house, but he got so used to... Oh, your school gave them iPads for school and then they yeah. took them away for the summer. Oh, I yeah. See. And, uh, but they, they gotten so used to like doing fun activities on them and uh, and what really kind of the fucking bougie guy is this, right, folks? <laughs> oh, I go to a public school, no bougie public school in, no. uh, in Los Angeles. I, I, um, I really like your school. If I, I, if I, I lived in your neighborhood for a while before I moved into a nicer one oh, and, geez. uh, my daughter would have gone to that school too. I like it a lot. It, it's a really great school. It's a fun little, yeah, it's a, it's a great little school and you can walk there. It's great. I, uh, had, an idea, I had an idea for a fundraiser that, uh, I presented to them before, before we moved. Cause I thought my daughter was going to go there Yeah, and they kind of shot it down. It was a sexy dad's calendar. And uh, I was going to email you about it to see if you wanted to be in it, mm. but it was a sexy dad's. I thing. I also pitched something similar to them, and uh, what we've done is this is kind of weird. It's called a sexy dad dungeon. So what we do for Halloween, it's like a haunted house with sexy dads in it, and uh, and it's it's for the single moms, it's for uh, the moms who hate their spouses, and it's for the the uh, the kids. In that school, that are more emotionally mature is what we say, <laughs> and it's very you know it's, we can't touch them, but they we can't touch them, but they can touch us. Wow, we raised uh, a lot of money, a lot of money last wow. year. Um, you know, so uh, you know, uh, you know, again, uh, I can do this at your school if you want. I can get no, to no, 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 no. I, I don't want you coming to my child's school to do a sexy fundraiser of a. Uh, my idea was tasteful. Mine was a calendar that the parents would buy. Sexy dad. Sexy dad. Sexy dad. Yours is more like an interactive main uh, event. Haunt, yeah. Haunt I mean, it's more of an immersive event, like kind of yeah. like going to Star Wars I, Galaxy Edge or something like that. Yeah. I don't want to do that. Oh, speaking of Disney, um, have yeah. you have you been to and this is not a fucking ad. Everyone thinks this is an ad. Have you been to the uh, uh um New thing, the what new they Marvel, the Marvel Land. I have not been, I have not been to Marvel Land yet, but I know that you and I, we talked about this a little bit before. Like we've both been to Disney recently, in the, yeah, 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 recently. Um, do you, I mean, I want to because, you know, uh, I know that like it's been different, right? Because it's sort of like you can't, you can't necessarily do everything that you normally did. Like when I was there, it was like there was glass partitions up in the ride. You can't like meet the characters. Like they're on a stage separate from you and you have to kind of like wave at them. So you're hoping to get eye contact, but it's a little bit hard to get eye contact with them yeah. uh, because they're yeah. far away. It's, and that's hard to explain to little kids. Like I, I haven't fully explained what we just went through to our four-year-old because like, I don't want her to worry about the world. And I, I, I never mentioned the word Trump or anything like that. Yeah. She, my kids don't like Trump. I don't know how they got that, but 
but yeah. they are, I mean, they're probably from listening to well, us. When, but... when, when Biden was elected, I told her like, you know, he was good. And <laughs> it is funny how you can, uh, whatever. Uh, everyone, I will... everyone, everyone is brainwashing their kids, but. Um... Of course, of course. Look, I was running around the house when Reagan won uh, one of the elections. I remember like getting in my babysitter's <laughs> face and be like, Reagan won, suck it. Or like, I was like, and like to be like, like yeah. a little kid, like so hyped up for Reagan, and, like talking to my babysitter. Yeah, like I was, she was not a fan of Reagan. But 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 at Disney World, uh, yeah, it's it's sort of the characters now are you know like we used to love taking her to these princess breakfasts where you go and you have breakfast in this restaurant, and there's all the princesses are like walking around, and they'll come over and give you a little you know, a little yeah. one, one time and like our daughter went fucking, you know, nuts, like loved it. And obviously they, they can't do that right now. And, uh, and when we went there, we, you know, we waited in line and waited in line for, uh, you know, to see one of the characters and, and they're just sort of up on this little kind of like a little stage behind a little gate. And you kind of just like wave at them from like 10 yards away. It's tricky. It's kind of, yeah. Uh, it's kind of, it's a little bit sad. Like, cause my, our daughter was like, but why, how come I can't hug him? And I'm like, and I said, just put your, drink your Corona, you know, just stop complaining and drink your Corona, you know? Yeah. I mean, and, and, you know, she won't do that because she knows that like, if she gets day drunk, she's not going to be able to sleep at night. That's the problem is like, she'll get, she'll get really drunk and then just sort of, and then she wakes up and then can't fall back asleep, you know? Yeah. I mean, do you, Rob, do you want to show that video or we don't have yeah, yeah, to? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, right. this was, this was, um, uh, and we don't have to make a meal out of it, but this was just to say that, uh, this was a moment that my daughter had been waiting for, for so long. And then the voice that you'll hear in this video is Mickey's handler. They have a handler there to sort of move you move you along oh, and this no. woman, this woman sort of is trying to be helpful but basically humiliates my daughter <laughs> oh just my god all right i'm gonna play this and while i'm playing this molly can you look at uh uh atsuko's uh video with mickey too see if we can pull oh, that up great. Yeah, yeah. all right here we go let's see Lovely waving. Oh, good job. Do you want to dance? Can I wait a minute? I come here, darling. You wanna spin so around, I'm thinking, honey? I'm thinking maybe you could turn around. You wanna spin I'm around? I'm thinking maybe daddy could fix her skirt there at the back. Okay. <laughs> I could have done it, but you know Thank you. I might get COVID. Okay, wave to Mickey. Right there, honey. Good job, honey. Do you right. fucking this, believe that? Okay, let me tell you what happened. This is wild. This is a yeah, it's insane. And the and when I watch it, I get fucking furious. Okay, so what happened was I had just taken her to the restroom and she pee peed, and then obviously her little dress got tucked back into her underpants. That's daddy's fault, you sure. know, whatever. Of so but you don't need to call that out to her. She didn't. I didn't notice it. She didn't notice it. We waited in line to see Mickey Mouse. That's like the whole thing. That's why you go to Disney. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we get up there and this fucking person ruins it by going, do you want to, can I just, do you want to, let me go ahead and. Daddy can, can do dance. that. Daddy, do you want to pull it out? Daddy. So, so takes our little like 10 second moment and says, uh, well, you know, and so I, so I just sort of laughed it off like, haha, okay, whatever. I'll pull her dress out of her underwear big by the deal. way and i didn't even see that like the way that you were taping it like you don't even see it. it's not like a like an egregious tuck or something like yeah, that and then she follows it up with the joke of i would have done it but i might get covid i was like what the no no <laughs> no it happened i was just like okay and you know you're with your kid i was like let's just have fun you know, let's go, honey. And, you know, she didn't realize. But, you know, of course she wants that sort of moment with Mickey to connect and whatever. And this fucking person ruined it for me. I, oh, it makes me so angry. And, yeah, and, and spins her and, yeah, has the audacity to touch my child. Like, are you allowed to touch people's kids? No. No, 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 no. I, I, I am, I am so angry at this joke that that she's gonna get COVID from 
you know, I know she's trying to be funny and I, I know she's probably, it's a That's tough not job. her job. That's it's not her thing. job to be funny. No, it's not her job, but it is a, I, before people get fucking bent out of shape. I know it's a tough job. I know she's not making any money. No, 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 no. But, but no, this is not a person that Target or Kmart who's working an hourly gig. Like this is a Disney employee who has to jump through many a different hoop uh, than a normal, like a normal employee. Like, and, and you're working with kids and it's like, it's a, it's a different job. Like it's a different job. I totally believe that. And I will tell you this, that head spin thing made me furious. I don't like it, man. I don't like it. It all happened like so uh, when she touched my child, you know, I mean, one, it's a woman. So like, that's not at all. Um, you know, you're not, you're not threatened by that. And, and I knew that she didn't mean anything, but like, had that been like a man, I think I probably would have like tackled the guy and been like, whoop, whoop, whoop. dude, I had, I had a similar situation this week. So Gus, my, my son, Gus, uh, loves Clippers basketball as much as I do. And I think one of the reasons why I've really been getting into basketball in the last you know, two years because he loves it so much that we really have been bonding over it. And it's been so much fun and he's been loving the Clippers. And, um, he gets out of the car yesterday morning at camp, uh, right by your house, as a matter of fact. And, uh, and, and, uh, and he's in his Clippers outfit and the camp counselor is like, Hey, are you excited about the clips tonight? And he's like, yeah. And he's like, you think they're going to win? And he's like, yeah. And he's like, probably not. Oh, and I was like, why are you doing this to this kid? Like, and he was like, oh. And then we went back this morning. And I was like, hey, we did win. Suck it, camp counselor. It was like such a like a weird moment to like just pull the rug out from under this kid. Like, just let him let him root for whoever he wants to root for. You don't have to like pull it out from him there. Just like let him be happy. Let him I be know. happy. I know, I know, I know, I know. It's it's oh, I get so fucking pissed at people who do i hate dumb it shit around kids anyway uh it tra- now i think there's some a retribution coming up because atsuko who was on our show uh a little while ago she's very funny she went video. to walt disney world this week and this video floored me it's the same exact thing so uh molly you want to just pull it up here we go check this out It's a little, it's a little stutter step, but I think you need to do it again. Do it again, maybe it might yeah. downloaded. Yeah, uh, if we download it, because what is happening is every time she starts butt dancing, Mickey, Mickey walks away. Yeah, <laughs> here we go. Let's see if we got it. Oh, do we have it? All right, I can put it in. Put it on butt, the butt dancing. Oh wait, that's here. No. Oh, oh yeah. Sorry. Here we go. All right. Molly's going to add it in. Molly, add it in. There we go. Here we go. Oh, it's still stay. It may be because we're playing Instagram. Oh, okay. oh. oh, there it is. Okay. Without the music. So then, boom. Yeah. Once that butt goes, Mickey walks off. Walks yeah. off. <laughs> his, reaction, his reaction is so trained. Like, you can tell. And then like, waves. And then <laughs> yeah, he does a weird thing where he's, like, scratching his head. Like, as soon as... And she... Uh, she catches on to it so fast. Like she almost knew that he was going to do that. It, oh it's my God. So hard. Yeah. That, you know that they just train those people to be like, if anyone does anything offensive, like, cause everyone's filming everything. So they're like, don't be in the I, video. I turn love that Mickey like turned back in and then waved again and then fell for it again. Like he's like, ah, God damn it. Yeah. Uh, yeah, um, that is uh, that is great. Atsuko is amazing, so funny, so so good. Um, Rob, we uh, we can talk about a couple things if you wanted to. Uh, we could, well, I mean, what what we can bring in a little musical interlude to to, or we can. Uh, okay. Yeah, I got I got to bounce in a few. Okay, so well, I, let's maybe I could let wanna... you. I could let okay. you. I could let you and and Julian take over if you want. All right, yeah. If you want to bounce, why don't you bounce, and we will um, see you next week here on the show. And yeah, uh, and next week, next week, are we are we doing Thursday? We are doing Thursday unless okay. a playoff game interferes. I'm going to double check. I think I'm I think I'm pretty clear. Uh, yeah. and I'm not going to be in Phoenix. But I'll tell you this much. 
Uh, the one thing that I want to tell people about is next Tuesday, we are doing a cooking show. We're going to make chicken fried steak with Courtney McBroom, who is an amazing chef who, uh, has like a, an a insane resume. Uh, and then Adam Pally and I are going to do some punch you ups. Uh, there are a bunch of fun stuff up here. Uh, you know, so you check it all out. It's all up there. And uh, I think, and, I think yeah. on the, I'm just looking at the calendar here. I think on the eighth is our, uh, we're going to do a normal show on yes. Thursday. Eighth, but I think we're going to make that a benefit for uh, miles for migrants. But we'll do yes. a straight up normal, our normal fuck around show. But I we're going to raise some money with yeah, some I good people. On, I think we're on Funches, and uh, we'll have to wrangle a couple other people that we've been talking about. It's um, going to be good. It's going to be a big be fun a, show. A good, a good little. Fun. We should actually book it more than the day before, like normals. So we're going to get on yeah. that right away. We're going to okay, do it up, everybody. Great and, to see uh, you. And don't go to Disneyland. Uh, please boycott Disneyland. Oh wait, hold on. That's a big. Ad, that's a big advertiser for us. Drink, right. drink a lot of Corona and oh my to, god, right, never good. Here we go. Oh Jesus. Hey Julian. Uh oh, I got robot Julian. I got robot Julian. Hold on, I got robot Julian. See if he can fix it up. Hold on. No, I'm gonna pull him out. I'm gonna pull him out. This is gonna. Let's see. Pull him out for one second. I'm gonna let Julian give me a thumbs up when he feels like he's got it. Uh, people, what a fun show. Adam Brody, the bottle of Corona. I'm very excited uh, to see this Fast and Furious movie because tomorrow night I am hosting a charity event for Charlize Theron that is going to be a screening of the movie. And before the screening of the movie, it, I and June, or I should say June and I, are tasked with interviewing Vin Diesel, Charlize Theron, uh, uh, Sung Kang, Kang, uh, Justin Lin and Jordana Brewster. It is going to be insane. I don't know what it will be. I know that Universal is uh, nervous, uh, but we are going to have a fun time and I'm looking for questions to ask these people. Uh, but tomorrow night, Fast and Furious, giant outdoor screening, COVID safe, all to raise money uh, for this amazing project that Charlize uh, runs in Africa that supports uh, all this community and youth. And it's it's a really amazing organization uh, with scholarships and schools. And let's see if Julian is back here. Julian, oh, oh he's still robot, still robot Julian. One more second, one more second. He's gonna say one second. Let's see if he fixes it. Let's see. Oh, he's going away. We're gonna bring him back. Maybe I should just mute him. I'll just mute him. Um, and why am I sharing the screen though? If he's not here. Uh, yeah. And I gotta say, I've done this in the past. I've hosted the lost reunion. I've hosted the lost finale. I've hosted Westworld events. I've hosted like big events at Comic-Con. I am the most nervous about this group only because I don't know. And I say this with, with so much love. I don't know the rest of the cast besides Charlize. And I'm not sure that any of them have a sense of humor. They could. But I, I I feel like I'm going in uh, pretty naked. I, I feel like they I don't know if they want me to like be like James Lipton or they're ready to have some fun. Uh, so I I am nervous. So uh, that will be that'll be kind of uh, insane tomorrow night as we are going to watch Fast Nine in an outdoor venue sitting next to Vin Diesel. That's kind of crazy. All right, uh, but I feel like at this point uh, that's you know what I, I can only the next step would have to be to be in it and to be on the moon uh by the way you guys all know that's a fast nine it takes place on the moon uh okay uh somebody said this paul you set the tone don't forget that you know what and you're right i want to have fun but be respectful can i do that tone is that a tone that's right people say f dom uh you know i'm ready to go thank you for this positive feedback i say vin is funny he plays D D. all right Hey, I'm willing. I'm willing to see. You think we should talk about D and I don't know. Uh, okay, and then um, I'm not going to go in naked. Uh, I am going to do it live. the uh, The dress code is casual chic. You know, that's my that's my jam. Uh, now, this is how much I love Fast and Furious, or I should say, this is where my love is put to the test because. Tomorrow night is game four of the Clippers Suns at home, and I am not going. I have traveled to Phoenix, and now I am not going to drive downtown. And I am really, 
really having a hard time with this. I am having a tremendously hard time with this. So uh, I will be there, but mentally I won't be. It's going to be very hard. Uh, all right, let's see if Julian has figured this out. Julian, have you figured it out? Am I a robot still? You are. We're in. You're perfect. Oh, my God. Oh, great. Ready. Okay. That was a little nerve-wracking. Uh, I, uh, I am excited to be here, and I just was telling everybody that I had to pick Fast 9 charity event over my beloved Clippers in Game 4, very pivotal Game 4 of this series. And uh, you know what? It's for the kids of South Africa, so God bless. But uh, it's going to be I rough. don't know, man. I don't know if I can make that choice. That's I a know. tough one. It's a toughie. It's a real you, toughie. I mean, I don't want to make you regret your choice in front of these people. But... I know, I know, I know. I mean, I, I will say this, though, Julian. There, there's been nine Fast and Furious movies. There are going to be two more. The soundtracks are full. And by the way, I say there's going to be two more. There's going to be a lot more than just two. Uh, that I mean, of the of the saga, then there's going to be spinoffs uh, galore. Um, but every one of these movies has a killer soundtrack and an amazing uh, artist on there doing a song. W do you think that one of your songs could get on a on a fast soundtrack? I'm so I'm going to make a confession, and this is obviously not the appropriate space. audience for this safe space, safe space. It, is, have, it is it is the appropriate audience yeah i have never watched a fast and the furious movie wow. or any of the subsequent spinoffs and i just don't understand how like wow. the cars like i just don't like so what's the deal like the cars they jump and they go fast and stuff like, okay all right I, first I, of all first of all, all first of all you you can't look at a trailer for <laughs> fast nine and go, I don't understand how they do that because it would be like if you went to bed and then you came out the next morning like Arnold Schwarzenegger. It wouldn't make sense. But if over time, over 20 years, I saw you working out, getting some muscle tone, like like to go from nothing to the Fast 9 trailer is not, it's not healthy for you. It, it, uh, um, but like I, like yeah. I don't understand because I know people have like what, 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 what I find very interesting is like it's. It, it's the emotional connection that people have to these movies that are clearly mm -hmm. like, like it'd be like watching commando 11 and being like, I'm so invested in what John Ma what happens to John matrix. And I really want to know, and I know his backstory and why he has this ridiculous, you know, it's like, right. like Vin, I just have no, I don't know. I just don't understand how they're like a family. Like, I guess they're, they're like a family okay. of race car drivers. We're, all right. Well, all right. So, all right. <laughs> Let me just ask you one simple question. I, I know you just, I know you, all you asked me was if my music belonged, but I'm like, no. I don't know if I could, could okay. Julian, just, I'm ready. I'm ready. I like bring it. By the way, Julian and I do a show together here on this channel. Julian has an amazing channel where he's like curating some amazing people uh, where we're going to raid him in a second. But I will say this, Julian and I show a song about your life. It's super fun. I love chatting with you about all this stuff. First of all, I want to see in the chat. Who has never seen a Fast and Furious movie? Let's say, uh, just put up a... Uh, I, I'm trying to think of a, a way to say it. Uh, let, let's pay like, I'm trying to think of what would be a good emoji for. Uh, how about like, just no, we have those no emojis. Uh, I want to see no emojis. If you've not seen Fast and Furious and yes, emojis, if you've seen it, because I think you're not alone. Um, all right. Julian. Yes. Where do you think the movie start? Like, what do you think the original premise of episode one, Fast and Furious, not the prequel, Tokyo Drift, but episode one, Fast and the Furious, where do you think, what do you think the general premise is? I'm okay. not asking give me the plot, but like the rough idea of it. Okay, so Vin Diesel mm -hmm. and Paul Walker, mm -hmm. they're brothers. Okay. And they drive cars. Got it. And... The, it's like they do crazy stuff with the cars and okay and then this, there's some there's like a heist element too right is there some some stealing uh, inv involved you're 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 so close and so far away this is what i'll tell you <laughs> fast and furious the first one is a straight up point break <laughs> ripoff okay 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 paul okay. walker is a cop he's johnny utah under, he's johnny utah he goes okay, undercover okay. to bust a ring of DVD player like thieves. These guys okay. that Vin Diesel runs a ring of a DVD, DVD uh, you know, uh, theft or whatever. And so he gets into their world and racing is just a part like street racing. Normal street racing is a part of this thing, right? 
Subsequently, uh, the second movie, Vin chooses not to appear. Paul Walker goes to Miami. Sorry, TV VCR combo and not DVD. Sorry, TV what VCR year, combo. What year is this first one? Is 20 this years ago. 20 years ago. Okay, so it's 2002. Right. We're like pre-iPhone. Yes. Yeah, okay. Normal street racing. I say that, like, no, understanding, like, normal because where we're going is kind of crazy, right? So that's the premise. The second movie, Paul Walker continues his journey. He's He leaves like a Johnny Utah, right? Like, so he's like, I don't know how I feel. Am I a cop? Am I a racer? I'm mixed. He goes to uh, Miami. Am I right about that? I'm, I'm fuzzy on some of these details. Um, and and then he like gets involved again. And then we meet some more characters. And then the th and now I'm going to get a little bit more fuzzy. The third movie doesn't involve Paul Walker or Vin Diesel at all. And that's Tokyo that, Drift. That's, that's like Tokyo Drift. A brand new set of characters. Justin Lin directs this. It's um, they bring this character from uh, one of his movies. Uh, God, what is it called? Tomorrow Never Dies or some version of that title. Uh, okay. And cool movie. Little Bow Wow fun different thing and what happens at the end of that movie is vin diesel appears in the post credit scene and he's like pulls up to han solo uh spelt differently uh and says hey you want to race and then cut credits i'm like oh shit and, th and this is all pre-mcu right like so they're this is like oh, they're, yeah. they're sort of revolutionizing like that there is an extended fast and the furious universe uh, yes as someone said he is nick fury in this bitch and uh, okay. so he comes in and then we go to four arguably the worst one of the franchise because it's like a straight up drama about like running shit through mexico and there's a tunnel and whatever skip four all together okay and then we get to the sweetest spot the sweet mm, the sweet tea which is fast and furious five justin lynn bring in the heat everything that we love and this is the moment where our characters go from normal people with normal problems to straight up marvel characters and they God, start okay. they start jumping further flying out of planes they're on secret missions they're pulling a safe out of a place in rio they're dragging it behind cars and then six seven eight forget about it now we're in a whole another world we got so the rock is coming in Jason Statham's a bad guy. He kills Han Solo. Brock is after them. The Rock is good. The Rock is bad. They're teaming up. They're separate. The Rock fights a submarine. And then we are into nine. And, and then there's a spinoff with Hobbs and Shaw, which is uh, the good guy. And then the guy who was an evil, straight up evil villain, we find out later that he actually is a good guy. And his mom's Helen Mirren. Helen Mirren's in Fast 9, but, but Jason so Statham is not. So like if I okay so basically like the the first it really the, the series starts at five and the first four are just like context that you need to sort of like but you could start watching at five. What I would say is this: you could do this, fast one, fast five, fast six, fast seven, and then maybe just jump to nine. Like that's a that's an abbreviated schedule. Because I, I think so that's what it, when it first came out, like I, I love Hobbs I and Shaw. By the way, I love Hobbs and Shaw. Hobbs this, and Shaw, you can watch without having any. Yes, it's just like that's when it first. Like in my, it's just been around. So I'm just amazed that it's still a thing. And I like, but like I guess I. I but the, if the series sort of like starts a decade in, like then it makes sense that I, I just. Yeah, it, okay. it's 20 years of history, 20 years of building crazy shit. But I swear to God. You could just pop in if you just know what I just pitched you, like that they that's how it okay. started. Watch five. What and it, watch and fast five and I want to like I could yes. I, I'll like yes, I'll I would, really I don't yes. have to like you know it's not like watching the mechanic no. by Jay, with Jason. No, 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 no. Okay. Watch okay. just all right. So only say this. The next time we talk, I want you to watch fast five. Okay. And I would say I would love to have a song about it, but uh I would love you to watch fast five. That's what I want to do. I know that you have to start a show right now. Is there any sure. way that we could? What should we do to get you into your show? Um, to, I don't yeah. know. We could do whatever you want. I could play you a song. I could. Uh... You just released something this week, right, or last week, didn't you? Yeah, I, I, so I don't want to do just it. Did, oh, okay. Well, no, we could do it. It's a it's a cover. So I'll, it's a Katy Perry cover. If people like it, I mean, I'll do it. I don't care. You know, I'll play I mean, Katy do Perry. people want to hear it? I think we would like to hear it. I'd love to you hear it, and hear then it? we will kind of raid you, and this will okay. be the best thing. We love having this. It. Is this is I love you guys. Are the most generous. Uh, 
people on Twitch that I know, and I don't, right, I don't so know here, a lot. But uh, well, here we go. Let's. Just, I'm going to pop you on the big right. screen here. I'm going to give you the big screen treatment. Here right, we go. So here we go. Let's Let me get on. I'll get, I'll get some, we'll give you guys some some fun multicam vibes going too, so I can uh, do it. All right, here we go. Let me get a nice little uh, upright piano going. All right, all right. to give you guys the full experience. I'm losing my self-control. Yeah, you're starting to trickle back in. But I don't want to fall down the rabbit hole. Cross my heart, I won't do it again. I tell myself, tell myself, tell myself, draw the line. And I do, I do. But once in a while I step up and I cross the line. And I think of you. Two years in just like that. My head still takes me back. Thought it was done, but I guess it's never really over. Oh, we were such a mess. But wasn't it the best? Thought it was done, but I guess it's never really over just because it's over doesn't mean it's really over and if i think it over maybe you'll be coming over again and i'll have to get over you all over again just because it's over doesn't mean it's really over and if i think it over maybe you'll be coming over again and i'll have to get over you all over again i guess i could try hypnotherapy i gotta rewire the brain but I don't want to fall. What does he say? Cross the ha. Yeah, right. But I don't want to fall down the rabbit hole. Cross my heart, I won't do it again. I tell myself, tell myself, tell myself, draw the line. And I do, I do. But once in a while, I trip up and I cross the line. And I think of you. Two years in just like that My head still takes me back Thought it was done But I guess it's never really over Oh, we were such a mess But wasn't it the best? Thought it was done But I guess it's never really over Just because it's over doesn't mean it's really over And if I think it over Maybe you'll be coming over again And I'll have to get over you all over again just because it's over. Have to get over you all over again. Thought we sis this time. Thought we said goodbye was the last. But I guess it's never really over. Thought we drew the line right through you and I. Can't keep going back. I guess it's never really over. And just like that, my head still takes me back. Thought it was done, but I guess it's never really over. Just because it's over doesn't mean it's really over. And if I think it over, maybe you'll be coming over again. And I'll have to get over you all over again. Just because it's over doesn't mean it's really over. And if I think it over, maybe you'll be coming over again. And I'll have to get over you all over again. Thought we kissed goodbye, thought we meant this time was the last, but I guess it's never really over. Thought we drew the line right through you and I can't keep going back. I guess it's never really over. Never really over. Oh man, that was amazing, Julian Villard, Everybody, I wish I had a, a sound effect of clapping. Uh, so yeah, there we go. There we go. 
Uh, that was amazing. Julian, what is going on? What can people do right now? Because we're going to raid you right now. So. Yeah, come hang out with me. I'm, I do Wednesdays and Fridays on Twitch. And thanks to Paul. You know, a bunch of you guys have already checked me out. And I'm, I'm going to be taking requests and, I, you know, trying new toys out. Stuff, stuff like, this, like this. Doing, doing weird, weird looping yeah, exercises. Yeah, I, love you know, that. I don't know. I don't, just I don't, I don't, having fun. Goofing All on. right. Oh, well, awesome, Julian. It's been great. Thank you, everybody, for watching right now. Molly. Hit that raid. Get that oh, raid wait, wait, going. Let me get. Let oh, me go live. Oh, I gotta get live. Oh, hold on. Oh, hold go on, live. Get on. out of here. Get out of here. Hold go, on. Go. Hold on. Hold. All right. I'll give him. A, I'll give him a nice outro there. Uh, people, I hope you saw Molly's show this week. Uh, the sleepover show on Tuesday night when I was in Phoenix. A grand success. Uh, so definitely keep out. Uh, keep your mind open. Not mind open. Keep your eyes open for more of those as well. We have a bunch of fun shows, and we want to hear what more stuff you want to see. We got a fun screen test coming up. Um, but uh, great to see you all. And remember to join the Discord. If you're not in the Discord, there's a lot of fun stuff in there, and we always are looking for people and ideas. And if you have questions about Fast and Furious, let me know. I'll let you know how it goes. Um, what will be? This is gonna be a week. Wow, it's a week where I've been to Phoenix, met Tim Apple. <laughs> And then interviewed Vin Diesel. What a week, Sheer. What a week. When I look back on, on my life, this is going to be the week that stands out. Um, and by the way, uh, yes, Molly, please break down Adam Brody on the sleepover. I think we need to see that. Uh, so we are we are in, people. I think Julian is getting ready to go. And I uh, hope we see more sleepovers. Thank you, everybody, so much. Have a great weekend. Bye for now. Molly, you got the, you got the raid, right? Hopefully we'll figure it out.